back to the 10th floor. It's me, Matt. Hi, everybody. It's Kat. How y'all doing? And uh, and you're, you're here flying over Burbank, uh, Los Angeles. Not Burbank, but <laughs> Los Angeles. Uh, we're about T minus 25 minutes away from our destination. We have the banner in tow. The banner <laughs> is a fly, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> That was crazy. That was crazy. That was crazy. Can, it's uh, cool, but it's crazy. It's cool. So, like, you know, I, 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 it was. It's during these times that I wish I could pick the brain of my grandpa Carl to find out how much would need to go into something like this. Hey, grandpa Carl, aviation expert, air traffic controller for many years, and a pilot. Yeah, and a pilot himself. You know, he had his little Cessna plane, right? Like, he, he yeah, could, he he could attach a little banner to the back of that thing and flown it around if if he wanted. Well, I bet I bet he could. I bet he could because he used to pull up gliders. Yeah, he used to. Yeah, there used to be a, like a glider airport out in Fremont. Well, there you He'd go. He'd pull up gliders. That's a hell of a lot heavier than a banner. Yeah. Okay. So you know, I, I just I and wish let I could pick his brain a little bit to know exactly how much has to go into this. Like, what what's the cost of something like this? Uh, what is the uh, how much how much how much needs to go into it? Because you need permits, you need to, to clear the airspace, you need a you need a, a flight plan, you need approval from the government, you need all kinds of stuff to get a plane yeah. up there flying around the studio. Hey, everybody. <laughs> and did you see some group from Jung and the Restless is doing a Bogart on? Oh, are they? Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Hey everybody, welcome to the show. Hey, Coach Chandra. Chandra has promoted herself to now. She's a coach. She's a life coach. She's a professional coach. You you need to you need to fix up that resume. Talk to Chandra. You need a you got a question about, hey, how should I do this next portion of my life? Yes, yeah, Chandra, she'll have some answers for you. I bet she would. Or just continue to come to the tenth floor. Throw throw a random question in the chat. We get a little loosey goosey at the end. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wonder if Chandra would approve of the fact that I just got pissed off and walked out of the kitchen last week of the school and said, see ya. Oh, well, you I think that you're <laughs> old enough to make those choices, Ma. I think Chandra would agree. Uh, <laughs> I guess. Uh. <laughs> uh, Kelly's here. Kelly's happy to make it to a finally to a live early enough to watch us from the beginning. Oh, uh, yay! <laughs> and Stephanie. Stephanie's here. Hey, Stephanie. Hey, everybody. Uh, you're all loading in. We're talking about the plane. If you don't know about the plane yet. You're about to learn about the plane right now. All right. Yeah, so uh, yeah. the Trina and uh, Spencer fandom of General Hospital, Sprina themselves, mm -hmm. hashtag Sprina, a YouTube contingent, not YouTube, Twitter contingent came together and organized this. I don't know. I don't honestly, I don't know who is the brainchild. I don't know who organized. I can't name names because I just I just don't know. This, this, this one thing that I loved about it. I love that they put Nicholas and Tabiana on there and didn't put um, Spencer and Trina on there. I like, yeah, that's good. I yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Susan. Uh, so, so they say they send a plane with a banner flying, flying, by, flying in the air right behind <laughs> the plane over GH over Prospect Park Studios. Um, and I guess they let the actors know ahead of time. Uh, James Lott Jr. had him and his entourage in tow. Um, I think Anthony from, uh, from Dish and Days was out there, and some of the other people, just other Twitterers and YouTube uh, people, out there. Um, and they got video, and they got pictures, and 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 I uh, saw them all. Yeah, Nicholas Chavez and Tabiana came out and and saw the thing fly over, and just were thrilled, absolutely, just over the moon. Yeah, they were. I'm surprised that more actors didn't come out with them. <laughs> or maybe they just couldn't, or something. I don't know. I I don't know. I don't know exactly what's up with that. Um, it's entirely possible that it, that they didn't even know until like five minutes before. I, I I don't know. I don't know the details. I don't know who did mm -hmm. this. I wish I could come to you with like a live news report here at five. Matthew on the scene. Here I have the details in a live interview with so and so. I just don't have that. So um, actually, my my curiosity kind of lies with how much does that cost? How much does that cost? How much? I, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Kelly, yes. Uh, so it is posted on James Lott Jr. has uh, some video of it. Uh, he, he edited it and then put a little uh, couple of minute commentary at the end of it. So uh, that's a place that I know you can find it. Um, it's all over Twitter as well. If you search the hashtag Sprina on Twitter, all kinds of photos and videos and edits and art and all kinds of wonderful stuff is going to come up uh, if you take a look at that. Um, but it, and I've seen some it's pictures on Facebook, too. Yeah, um, and General Hospital covered it on their their social media as well. Like it was it was a big GH event, you know. Uh, so yeah, was so, cool. so these people did good. 
It was cool. I loved it. And I hope that ABC and Disney paid attention. So, uh, interestingly enough, the um, head of ABC programming, I guess the, the person in charge of the department that says, yes, this is a series on our network, no, this is not a series on our network, retweeted this and really loved the gesture, and, 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 and it definitely brought um, attention of love to GH to the person that's deciding what's on the network. So, um, I don't know if that means anything in the long run. But when it comes to showing a passionate fan base, when it comes to showing that people still care, still are interested, and still will invest in some way. Yeah. Invest in some money was spent on this show, yeah. even though the show did not get the money. And that's very important when it comes to Hollywood, all right? They do this for cash. Um, that was free advertisement. That's for dang sure. Oh, I'm sure it's going to be on Entertainment oh Weekly. I'm sure it's going to be in... in or, in Entertainment Weekly, the magazine or the online article. I don't even know what it is anymore here in 2022. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> uh, Entertainment Tonight, I'm sure, is going to get a hold of the footage. I mean, it wasn't a huge mass of people out there, but that means that the footage that we have seen and that is out there is going to proliferate and get out there in the media. Mm -hmm. So uh, Susan says that uh, she read that Su it was Spencer and Trina's day off from filming and they showed up after being invited. So, you know, that's extra special. You, no, that's good. <laughs> you know, uh, it's so funny to see Nicholas Chavez out of character. Uh, because as, as Spencer, he's in a prison jumpsuit or he's in like a collar or mm -hmm. maybe an apron if he's, you know, slumming it in Kelly's. Mm -hmm. uh, but when you see Nicholas Chavez, his style is so completely different than Spencer Cassidyne. And there is no doubt yeah. that this man is from Florida. Well, he... he, he... He, to me, he just like looked like a, a young 20s, uh, you know, young man in Hollywood. Oh, yeah. In the, in yeah. LA, that's the way he dresses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can you can see, uh, so I, I guess his previous job was uh, on a car dealership. I think he said that at the convention or at one of the conventions. Was he at our convention? I don't even remember. No, uh, he wasn't there, babe. <laughs> well, he said he it in there. something. I remember reading it. Uh, he said it at some point that he comes from mm -hmm. car lots. Uh, and I, I noticed that he is now driving down around in a very fancy whip, as they say. What is it? Well, I don't even know. I don't know cars, but it, it looks fancy. I mean, it's got like oh, a white... Oh, if I saw a picture of it, I don't know. It looks like some sort of sports car. I, I like cars. So I could I be wrong. I mean, I, I, I could be, just be guessing, but because he did his fan club thing, which, you know, I guess we could talk about a little bit, but that's, that's a minefield of danger for us. Uh... <laughs> Well, I do have a couple opinions about it. <laughs> so he did this video <laughs> uh, inviting people to the fan club, and he did it in his car. And I don't know cars, but this car looked fancy to me. Now, it could just be like a 2022 uh, Hyundai Supra. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> well, I tell you what, sweetheart. Interior cars nowadays don't look like yours. Mm. They're all super fancy now, huh? Well, every, you know, all newer cars have like a touchscreen kind of like computer oh, screen. all kinds of nonsense like that, yeah. Yeah, all uh, of them yeah, do. Yeah, they yeah. don't have to be electric. I've never driven anything that's like less than 20 years or something from the current year that I'm in. So I'm always behind the trends when it comes to touch screens and reverse cameras and stuff. Uh, my turn signals are still mechanical, you know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Susan. I don't know if I said hi. Daisy's here. Lola's mom is here. Lissa's here. Everybody's here. Lissa's here? Liz is here, yeah. Nicholas Chavez Liz, probably girl, even calls his father dad. Some... Yeah, just... not father. Huh, yeah, there's a difference. Make sure, Lissa, that you come up with some snarky, um, really witty, smart, smart-ass thing to say I love you. <laughs> <laughs> if, there, if there's one person that enjoys a smart, alecky lady, it's my mama. <laughs> I love a smart, dot, 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 smart ass. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly's son has a 2014 Honda Civic that's very fancy. So just so everybody out there knows, nationwide, worldwide audience even. We've got listens in India. <laughs> and Lissa says that she's here for you. Uh, while we while we broach to the subject, before we get into the plot of General Hospital this week, uh, Nicholas Chavez did come out with a, uh, with a fan club on Patreon. It's been a couple of days since I checked it, so I don't know if anything has changed. Um, but there has been some mixed reaction over the different tiers of fandom. That are available. Uh, Stephanie says, "Heart, Mama Cat, people love you. People love you. People love you so much, Ma. Just, just, just well, know I think that. I love them. Just know that in your heart." Uh, <laughs> uh, Daisy does not find Nicholas Chavez hot. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. He is a man in his young twenties. 
I find that as I get older, I find younger people less attractive because they're no longer in my age bracket. You know, like, geez, you know, when you're in high school, you don't realize how young everybody looks, right? I I love me a silver (laughs) fox now that I'm a little older. And, you know, I've always, I I said this many times um, with different actors. uh, Oh, I can't wait to see what he looks like when he's 35, 40 years old. He's going to be hot as hell. (laughs) See, he he, he can get get a little seasoned like Max Scorpio. Um, Max Scorpio looks good. He does. (laughs) Hey, he, he deserves a kid. Uh, so, um, so, so Nicholas Chavez comes out, comes out with this fan club on Patreon, and it, it's cool. Mm-hmm. It's cool. It's it's a bit. It's in my opinion a bit of an overinvestment in time that I'm not sure he's going to be able to keep up with. That's my concern. Um, well, yeah, and it depends on how many people get involved. You know, if, if he got more, he got. I'm sure he has several tiers, right? Uh, yeah. So there's like six tiers or something like that, and the, okay. the lowest one is like six. twenty bucks. Wow. The lowest one is like twenty, and you did the 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 Stone Cold and Jackal one, so you're you're kind of familiar with this. I'm, I'm very familiar with it. In yeah. fact, I just stepped off of it like a month ago. Well, hey, um, you did it for a couple of years, you know. I did at, it for at a certain couple point years. when when only half of the cast or only half of that show is still on GH and they're only on part time, eh, the attraction kind of wanes unless you want to start learning about Days of Our Lives. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Um. Well. Um. For me. It, it was, I wasn't going there enough anymore, mm-hmm. you know, justify it. to justify it. Yeah. And, you know, as, as you know, I don't mind sharing. My financial situation has changed. Yeah. Well, you're, you're <laughs> shifting into your next phase, you know. Yeah, I, you're, I've you're, shifted. You're, you're becoming full-time grandma, kind of. I mean, not that you weren't a full-time grandma before, but even more full-time grandma. Yes. Yeah. And I, and I, you know, kind of jumped into... Uh, I retired now for the second time. Yeah, yeah, you know, you 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 figure out. You can change it every up every couple of years now. There's there's no shame, no harm. Um, but fan clubs, all that kind of stuff. You got off the Stone Cold the Jackal one. Nicholas Chavez is coming out with one. Six different tiers. Twenty bucks is like the 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 small one, and you get to go watch his Zoom that he's going to do every month with everybody, right? Uh, and then it breaks down, and then the top one, uh, Patreon, I guess I don't know. Uh, Mm -hmm. (laughs) uh, and then um. His mo- his top one is a thousand dollars, and and here's where the controversy lies. It's a thousand dollars every month. It's a thousand dollars a month. Um, and here's I know it's now now okay. So here's some balances here when it comes to that. There's only one spot. Only one person can do this. Oh oh oh! It's only one spot. I didn't know yeah. that. So only one person can do this. Oh, I feel less crappy about it then. It's still a little weird though. It is a little it's weird. It's still a little weird. I've just got to say, it's a little strange. It's a little strange. It, it's not something that I have seen another actor do. That's all, you know? To me, yeah. it seems a little awkward. Um, th- that's all. I'm not saying that it's wrong. It's bad. He's a terrible person who's trying to gouge people from that. I'm not saying any of that. I'm just saying it's weird. Um, but I also at the it, same I time... I find it very unusual. But also at the same time... I, I can understand the interest in the actor in, in, in having various levels of engagement with people who find him interesting. Like, it's got to be a great ego boost. It's got to make him feel wonderful. And when it comes to, like, giving back to the fans, this is a really unique and interesting way to do it. So, it's $1,000 a month. There's only one spot. Yes. How quickly is that? It's dinner, right? So he and so So, basically, you get to have this one-on-one dinner with him. Uh, once a quarter. So every three months, you get to go out to Burbank. To... Is he going to fly you to Burbank? I don't know if he's going to fly you there. I would hope so, since you already paid him three grand for this. Um, I would hope so, too. <laughs> um, <laughs> this okay, is what happened? I, I, don't know. I don't know if he's thought this through thoroughly. Okay. What if it turns out that this one person is off this freaking rocker? You don't want to spend four times a year with someone that's cuckoo crazy. You don't want to spend four times a year with Heather Weber. Come on. <laughs> no, no, not at all. I don't want to spend four <laughs> times a year with Heather Weber. Absolutely not. Man. <laughs> I just, I just don't. I don't yeah, hopefully there's a vet, you know, some sort of vetting process, right? But I feel better about it only knowing knowing there's one spot. I thought, well, my gosh, what if 100 people sign up for this? How is he going to juggle that? Yeah, the live and is being a little funky right now. Sorry, Ted. It'll, and, it'll, it'll, know, it'll repair itself. I thought that was, I thought it was weird. I thought, how is he going to juggle that? And I thought, that's greedy. <laughs> I thought that too. Uh, I can't help it. I'm going to tell you all the truth. 
um, what I think anyway. But now that I know there's one spot, I I don't feel so bad about it. I, I feel actually, I, I feel way different about it, okay. knowing there's one spot. Okay. But I, I do think there's a level of danger there to a certain degree. Sure. I'm sure I'm sure we'll have some sort of security. And, you know, there'll be, I mean, it, it's once every three months. So uh, theoretically, he's got two and a half months to figure out if this person's crazy. Um, so hopefully they're not. Um. <laughs> and he's, there's got to be some kind of thing where you can you you can step away and and um, there's got to be some kind of contact contractual thing. Yeah, uh, I would think. I, I guess I don't I don't know all of the details when it comes down to that. Um, I, 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 so what do you get on tier five? That's so 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 about. like this this thousand dollar one, you know, you get the dinner and you get everything. You get the so there's the the group Zoom and then after that he does um like in he he's planning on doing individual Zooms with people in certain tiers after the group Zoom and stuff. Um, and so basically if he's basically invested himself once a month to like six hours of sitting in front of a computer for mm -hmm. his, his, it's supposed to be like some sort of group two hour zoom or something like that. And after that, he's going to give everybody 10 minutes of personal one-on-one -on -one zooms with him. Um, <laughs> uh, which could be hours and hours, you know, I mean, if you get 20 people, 10 minutes, 20, 20 people each, that's hours of time after the group zoom. So that's just a lot of time investment on one day to it talk is. to all of these people. It, it is. Now, he's probably had great times at, at these fan events and thinks that this is going to be a great investment into keeping that momentum and making a couple of bucks off to the side because these soap people don't make an absolute ton of money. You no. know, they're hundred no. thousand heirs. You know, it's it's not it's not much. Um, yeah, yeah, it's not. It, they, they, I don't, you know, sure, they make a good living and they get to do something they're passionate about. And that's wonderful in itself. Uh, it's, um, it, it's like being it's like being paid appropriately to be a teacher. Honestly, like they, they get what teachers should be paid to have a nice little life and plenty of time off. Yeah. Well, ain't that the truth. <laughs> but anyway, I'm not trying to criticize it or anything like that. It's just it just seems like a lot for somebody to invest and be able to stick with long long term. And that, that's my main concern. I just feel like this should it's this could have been odd. edited down by somebody who might have had a little bit of experience with it. It's just a little odd. I find it odd. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, but it's funny yeah, because some of the wording the odd, in there. It's not odd that he's doing it. it. That's not odd at all. The odd part is the six tears. Uh huh. I've just not heard of that. Yeah. But good for you. You good for you, Nicholas. That that's what you want to do. Okay. I hope Keep you. Up. I hope you love it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I hope he has a great time with it too. Um, it's just funny because some of, some of the, the the wording that he's used on 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 it is like, yeah, we're gonna have a a group chat where we talk about Spencer and the current storylines, and and you can tell me what you think he should do next. And and I'm just like, <laughs> you don't write the show, dude. What the hell? No, but he's just playing the game. He's just playing. He's fun. He's he's, he's trying to be engaging with the fans. The I have no no, no hate toward him for this or anything. It's just it's just, what what just made my eyes widen is the thousand dollar tier. That that's really the main yes. thing. Yes, and but now that I person, understand it a little bit better, as classist as you might think it might okay. be, <laughs> to call the person that can afford three thousand dollars across three months to go have dinner with him, uh, his number one fan, whatever. Uh, Lissa says this sounds like something Gladys would do. So <laughs> hey, you know. Uh, part of the course. Well, uh, she about to get in bed with Miss Wu. <laughs> All right. And she. Yeah, she is. Uh, Stephanie says that she would have dinner with Heather easily, happily. <laughs> <laughs> Susan agrees that it's too much time. Uh, Chandra thinks that there's definitely going to be a screening process. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, hey. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Yeah, you at least Google that so that person. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Lisa says, holy heck, for a thousand, I expect him to be at my house for a full week. Uh, listen, the, some, some of the things that I've heard people say, like, if I'm going to pay Nicholas Chavez $3,000 over three months, I'm going to expect a little more than dinner. You know, um, I've definitely heard that several yeah. times. <laughs> Please rub my feet. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so uh, Ch Chandra says that some folks drop a thousand dollars a month on dating and eating out, especially if you live in Chicago at the high end restaurants. That's, you I'm, know, I'm... there really is a difference in ability for people, you know, like those with money have a completely different life than those people who have to budget. Like I would love to be able to get to a point where I don't have to think about paying my rent. You know what I mean? Yeah, I tell I tell you what, when it comes to restaurants, I, you know how I used to save money at restaurants when I when I had. Four kids at home. 
um, how I save money at restaurants. We would go to restaurants, from, right, Matt? And I, and I would say, all right, you guys, we're not ordering drinks today. Nope. We're ordering water. Get waters. If you don't order any beer and alcohol, especially, yeah. and you don't order any soft drinks, yeah. dang, that'd take a good, if you have a good sized family, that'd take $25 off your bill. And if you're drinking alcohol, it might take almost 100 <laughs> right yes yeah absolutely just, just, i mean so growing up uh you see, okay all right as an adult i have like zero draw to alcohol um just it's you know it's not really my thing i'm not really interested in it never really have been whenever i've been to a bar and stuff they're like what you drinking i'm like i i don't know like if i went to the savoy <laughs> and nico was like what should i get you and i'll be like what do you think is great? You know, would be my answer, you know? Mm -hmm. Uh, so that, that, that's how I order from the bar. Um, and I, I thought about it and I think it's a lot due to influences or lack of influence, uh, from my parents and the fact that they're just, it wasn't ever around. No, we, I drink out, my, I drink far more alcohol now. Than way, I more did now. We way more now, way more now, mom, way more. Uh, I'm kidding. Right. <laughs> uh, but I'm yeah, there, 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 there wasn't, there was, you know, dad didn't crack open a cold one with the boys or anything like that. He didn't need to take the edge off after a long day with the, with a, with a cognac or anything classy or, you know, anything like no. that. We had the one beer in the back of the refrigerator for 15 years until my uncle Bill tried to pop it open, you know, like. <laughs> <laughs> we're, bad. we're a weird family, huh? You know, it was the fridge beer. It was the fridge beer. It would still be there if it wasn't for uncle Bill. Uh, <laughs> oh goodness gracious! Oh my uh, God, we have talked to no GH. I don't know if anybody's <laughs> even interested in what we're doing right now. <laughs> so we're talking about ridiculousness. All right, pick. We got to pick a character. You got to pick a subject. Okay. Let's. All okay. right, or or chat. You bring. You tell us what we're gonna talk about. Hey, Carolyn, how's it going? <laughs> I think suggestions from Nico would mess you up. Says so Stephanie. Nah, they're having a great time in the chat. Just fooling around with us today. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, Alyssa gets drunk on two shots. Very affordable. <laughs> She's feeling good after spending like six to ten dollars. Perfect. 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 There you That's go. That's how we do it. That's how we do it. I, I, I want to see a drink list from the Savoy. I mean, I think they had them set up at the on, on the set, but I didn't. I don't think I got a picture of it, so I'm not sure how much they're offering it. All right, Alyssa wants to talk about Esme. We can talk about Esme. That's a good one. That's a good deep yep. one. That's a thick one. Yeah. I didn't even write mm -hmm. that down on the notes. I'm crazy. Well. She's going to wind up being the little girl that, play, that uh, you know, she's she's um, the little boy that called Wolf. That's oh, what it's going to turn out to be, <laughs> isn't it? Uh, yeah, yeah. So, I don't know. So, it, it, this is, it's been an interesting week for Esme, all right? Um, so, she's pregnant. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's for real. The, oh, she's definitely really pregnant. There's no question about it. Uh, yeah. She did not really have an incident. I mean, not in that moment. Um, Man, Elizabeth, Elizabeth got her number right there. Yeah, yeah, Elizabeth is. <laughs> she, 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 I've raised enough kids to know when they're lying. Uh, <laughs> um, all right, so uh, so we, we've got we've got kind of the two faces and two sides of Esme kind of coming out right now. Um, there is the growing maternal Esme that exists in private when nobody's around, and then Ooh. there is our Esme that we all know and love uh, <laughs> when people are in the room um to a degree so so she's she's given this kid a name already okay yeah ace now ace. it started off as a kind of a horrible way to refer to the kid because it was originally her ace in the hole exactly but in the hole is gone and now she's just referring to the kid as ace yeah uh that is a really interesting move uh, in my opinion when it comes to humanizing as may to a degree mm -hmm. because it is um I'll give GH the subtlety here. It's it's subtly showing the growing bond between Esme and this baby. She's named it already. Whether she realizes it or not, she has named this child. And that it goes yes. big when it comes to sympathizing emotionally with something. You don't name the cow that you're going to have for dinner in two weeks, right? Well, uh, <laughs> in everything we've seen Esme do in the past, um, her agenda has always, it's never been out of love for anything or anybody mm. other than maybe money. Um, you know, that's, this is, this is the first time you're right of humanizing her. This is the first time that we've seen her, even though she may indeed still be doing, doing the wrong things, Oh yes. but she'll step into that doing the wrong thing for the right reason. Right. I, I mean, I don't know how far we're going to get into that. Um, because even, so there's that, uh, so there's, there's the bonding with the name and the talking. And then we had the scene where it was like kicking 
And she mm-hmm. was like, oh, no, indigestion. Oh, no, that's you, Ace. Um, mm-hmm. However, at the end of that little exchange where she's like, what are you doing to me or something like that? Mm-hmm. She had crazy cry going on, mm-hmm. you know, where it's still where it's not like, oh, wow. Oh, look at me. I'm becoming Snow White. Move out of the way. Well, over here comes Esme. Uh, <laughs> it, it, I, I just I just don't know what this is going to lead into. Is she going to is she going to fracture in her mind a la Heather Weber? Is she, or is this going to uh, calm her down? Uh, hey, Rocco. Oh, Rocco. Got a... Yeah, you saw Rocco, he didn't did. you? He, did. <laughs> uh... <laughs> he was sleeping right there in, yeah, the chair. in his chair, see. in his chair. He loves that one right next to the window so he can watch the street. Anyway. uh, (laughs) uh, So so, so I I, I don't know what's coming from this. I don't know if it's going to soften her or if she's going to fracture. I want her to fracture. I don't know. Hmm. I want her to. Well, we already have a fracture, though. Elizabeth is a fracture. Well, I mean, Elizabeth's fixing herself, though, now that she's getting her memories. You know, the biz is gone. That's true. Biz is kind of gone. I guess Biz is gone, huh? Yeah, Biz is and gone. And they never really confirmed she was ever there. That was no. Just that, that was her sleepwalking. It was it was the trauma from when she yeah. was a teen. They ruined well, it, mother. Good. They ruined it. Well, we good. had the right of it, okay? Biz, Liz. I know that was you know was why else? Why that else does she have good. the nickname from Terry if there wasn't another person anyway? Oh, anyway, they missed you missed the train, y'all, on the General Hospital writing team on that one. I know. The they should just hire me. They should hire me. Um, I don't have to write a single word, but I can take a look at the whiteboard of story and just like cross some stuff out. Oh. <laughs> That's all. So anyway, back to Esme. We're not going to talk about her, right? No, of course so, not. Do you think that she's going to have like, when she first reacted, I thought maybe she's actually having some cramps for real now. Right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But it but was just it turned out. But oh, it turned out nice. it was. She's feeling. She's feeling that baby kick yeah, now. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. But she's still trying to get out. Right? She's trying to get make friends with uh, with uh, Bronson or whatever the hell his name is. Yeah. Then, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, the chat woman the because they always do. The bodyguard guy. The bodyguard dude. Um, yeah. She's she's pulling some. Ooh, my 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 tummy, my belly. Ooh, Nicholas. Oh no. Oh my my baby belly. Err. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> um. And then he rushed Nick, rushed Elizabeth over. Big week for Elizabeth as well. Um, Big week for Liz. Yeah. Uh, she rushes over to, to to see what's going on. She's the only other person that knows what's happening. Goes up there, rushes, plays, just plays Esme for the fool. All right, we're going to have to do a C-section. We're going to cut her over. You have a nice, a rusty one. The rustier, the better. Get away from me and my baby. Okay. Uh um now then esme of course pulling at the emotional heartstrings of elizabeth if anything happens to the baby it's your fault elizabeth being like well i'm gonna be an accessory to murder because you're gonna kill her because i know you nicholas and just the heavy drama mother the heaviness going on in poor charles so i guess elizabeth's gonna be calling out there using the launch and going out there every three or four weeks and doing you know well, good. All right. No doctor has seen. Wind this. up delivering the baby. No doctor has seen Esme yet. No. So this is important for somebody to well. kind of, you know, poke the belly a little bit and see where the, and, you know, okay, the baby is in the right position for its age. Or, you know, I don't know how they do it. I'm not a doctor. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, and then somebody to deliver the baby. I guess Elizabeth can do that. Um, and then there, here's the key thing. Big thing that has been missing from Esme so far. Over the last couple of months, locked away mm-hmm. in this room, which I love. I'm glad that she's still in the room. Mm-hmm. She has not had a single prenatal vitamin. Okay. And she keeps on throwing her food in the floor. Right. So, you know, she's not <laughs> she's not taking care of herself. She's not taking hey. care of the baby. No, I, I noticed something. Um, did you? Now, wasn't there a door open for just a moment to the tunnels? Oh, I don't know. And she just closed it? Mm-hmm. That's the impression I got, you guys. Maybe. What did you think? Because I saw, and she saw that there was an open, mm-hmm. an open area, and I think it was to the tunnels, and she just closed it. Well, I'll get that. maybe she's third. I don't know. I, I missed that. If that's a thing, let me know, chat. Let me know. What do you think, crazy. chat? Am I am I imagining things? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Lissa says I thought that was the bathroom, so I don't know. <laughs> maybe it was the toilet. Uh, uh, Chandra says that was the bathroom door. So I guess, yeah, it was the bathroom. Oh, because it seemed dark. 
It was really There's dark. There's no light in there. Well, it's a, it's a con, it's a constru- yeah, it. yeah. Confirmed, confirmed. No matter everybody says oh, it's dang it. I know. You wanted her to be like, ooh, my escape. No, I'm staying. Drama, mystery, intrigue. I know. See, that would have been better, too. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Uh, did it, did it, uh... First, I thought she wasn't pregnant until Friday, says Kelly. Oh, hey, you know, people people didn't believe it for the longest time. Um, and they've actually had they've actually had it where her shirt has slipped a little bit. It's been like had a uh-huh. side slit in, or, and they have shown her belly. Yeah, yeah. So belly. she was laying down, and then like Elizabeth rolled mm-hmm. her over, and then the belly was out, and Elizabeth like covered her modesty. Um, yeah. Or just wanted to make sure the camera wouldn't get the fact that it was that uh, big fake belly. Uh, one of the two. One of the tell. Uh, but, 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 but there was one on here. It that seems I like they be. wouldn't be using that fake belly right now because yeah. that belly that we saw on set just, is way too big. Just stick out your belly as much as you possibly can, Avery. I mean, just as much as you can. <laughs> like it doesn't go out. I'm skinny. And I don't know what they're doing <laughs> right now. You know, I mean, Willow isn't really showing it all either, right? No, she just got like bellowy clothes on more yeah. than anything. Yeah. yeah. Well, they only got one belly and two pregnant. Uh, Character. So, what are they gonna do? Actually, uh, well, yeah, they well, can't never be in a scene together. <laughs> they can't ever be in a scene together. Or are they gonna have to do it on, you know, separate kind of this kind of thing? Not Lisa, in the camera. Lisa theorizes that uh, Elizabeth and Nicholas are going to have an affair with one another. I wouldn't be surprised. They just can't. That Elizabeth has always had a hot pants for him anyway. Yeah, for some reason, the she darkness, is. the dark prince. Oh yeah. The dark prince with the good oh, heart. especially if he happens to be married him. to his brother at the time. If she's married to his brother at the time, he's just tantalizing. <laughs> he totally brought up Nick, uh, Lucky this week, too. <laughs> at least at least fake Nicholas. Fake Nicholas for fake Nicholas. You know, people still yeah. haven't accepted Marcus Coloma. Um, but, uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess he maybe he got sick or something. Yeah, he, he got the COVID. He got the COVID. That's what happens when you're a crazy Republican. Oh, I'm kidding. I'm so sorry. If you're a Republican <laughs> and you also happen to be insane, I'm not going to say, I'm not saying you're going to have COVID. I'm just, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> and I'm lucky I don't have COVID this week. I went to a wedding last weekend when you guys, and it turned out to be a COVID spreader. Yeah. And there's like, there was about, I would say there's probably like 70, 75 people there. Yeah. 15 people. From that you wedding. were just ducking and diving the I virus. I ducked and dived that You didn't COVID even drink. Again. You didn't even drink much either to like, you know, cleanse your, your palate of germs. Well, what, yeah, what did I? Yeah, I probably. I had a couple of cocktails, but fine. I didn't overdo it though. You're fine. Esme's fine. Elizabeth's fine. Nicholas is fine. Because anytime Nicholas gets sick, they can just find another actor to play him. It's, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, Lissa says that uh, fake Nicholas is good. She liked him. He's fine. I don't know. He sounds old, like he's from, like, you know, the island, you know, like Long Island, you know. Mm. <laughs> it's just, you know, I, I guess it works because it is New York, but also he, like, he grew up in Greece. He shouldn't sound like this, right? He's a little Novak. He should come back as a Novak. Oh, there we he go. Did have that. He did sound like that. I didn't think there about it. You're right. Novak. He did sound like that a little bit. Um, I did. Hey, Chikari, you know, I thought he did. A, I did it. I thought he did a fine job. And to be honest with you, I just, you know, people on soap operas are pretty, good looking, pretty people. He didn't seem all that good looking, pretty to me. Oh well, there you go. Look at that. Oh, it, you've heard it here first, first on the tenth floor, folks. <laughs> Mama Cat prefers Mark, Marcus Coloma's face. Oh my goodness. Well, yeah. <laughs> he, it, he does irritate me. The only thing that irritates me about, um not the performance of nicholas really is I, he's just I, just too much of breathy i, I think I it's too breathy i was thinking about him during uh while while, the, while this guy was going on playing nicholas and just being like oh i'm so intense and 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 you gotta do something about this elizabeth right i was thinking about mm-hmm. how marcus coloma would play it would be it would be very much like you can't walk out on me right now elizabeth i need you yes what? it would have been delivery would have been completely different <laughs> yeah, he certainly didn't try to imitate him, did he? <laughs> no, no, no. He had yeah. taken his own take on that. Um, <laughs> well. I don't know. It's cool. There's there's like three characters in GH right now where um, it, it'll just be any actor, depending on the day. You know, uh, Michael's got two pl- people playing him. Uh, Nicholas has two people playing him. And Taggart has two people playing him. And, you know, I, the speech pattern mm-hmm. of Nicholas and Valentine, they kind of favor each other. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. That makes Don't sense. They're, they're both soft spoken to a degree, mm-hmm. you know, yeah, a little more a little intense in their quietness rather than their loudness. 
Yes. Yeah, yeah, I hear Both that. Both of them. I hear that. I hear that. He was a baby son, he says, Lissa. Lissa, just full of commentary <laughs> this week. I love it. Uh, Jacarius <laughs> is here. Jacarius, Jacarius, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the show. Glad you made it. Hey there. Ah, We're talking about Esme. We are. Uh, Marcus Coloma did an Instagram, says Kelly Public Over, um, that uh, he had COVID a month ago and he'll be back on TV next week. So it's fine. Just temporary. Just temporary. You know, it's like when we got Lindsay Hartley through there. It's like when we got Brianna Lane through there. Yeah. (laughs) You know. That's happened a lot with COVID over the the cast. You know, well, here we are approaching um, in the spring. It'll be three years since this crap reared its ugly head. Mm -hmm. Seems like forever. And yet it's only been three years. Crazy. Crazy. (sighs) How life is different. Uh, But uh, the restrictions in Hollywood are lightening up. Yeah, I'm it sure they are. It is all a production by production decision as to whether or not they are going to be doing hardcore COVID testing. So, you know, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Steve Burton is not coming back to the cast of General Hospital anytime soon because he has signed a deal with Days of Our Lives and will be showing up in, I'm sure, a couple of months once that stuff starts to air. Uh, <laughs> Stephanie doesn't hate I, Marcus. I, I, don't so. think it's a, I don't think it's a coincidence that um, his ex-wife, Cherie, is asked him for spousal um, support this week. That's no coincidence. Well, yeah, he's got a job now. Got a great job now. Let's <laughs> get paid again. Hey, I, I got the kids, Steve. Send me some money. It's like, but I want the kids. It's like, let's not get into soapness. We're not going to go to family court over this. All right. <laughs> Just send me money. Uh, uh, Stephanie doesn't hate Marcus Coloma so much, but he's also not showing the Cassidine backbone. I think that's a fair observation. Uh, Nicholas has gone from like the, the goody, the good one, the good one. Mm-hmm. To the cowardly one. Mm-hmm. He is now the cowardly Cassidyne and has been ever since he jumped out the window and faked his death for years. Yeah, he has been. Ever since he came back from the dead. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Basically. Because yeah. he, he hid for cowardly His mama reasons. needs to set him straight. His mama, his mama has too many people to set him straight right now. She sure does. Uh, Steve Burton is going to be on days in probably April or May. So there's an update for you. So it's going to be, you know, a good six months still. Well, that's a good space away still. I mean, if I was a soap, I would also want to be six months ahead, but whatever. That's just me. I will <laughs> actually watch it, you guys. I, You know, when he went to Young and the Restless, mm-hmm. I watched it when he went to Young and the Restless. But that, the advantage I had of watching that was I had watched it off and on already. So I sort of understood Young and the Restless and the whole, you know, backstory and the main families and all that. Mm-hmm. Whereas I don't have that with days, right? Because I've never, right? I, as I understand, is it's kind of it's the it's 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 the really soapy one. You know, when you think of like 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 not necessarily a parody of soap, but you know, like what a soap somebody, opera is. If days the, seems to be it. This might be out there, Matt. Like, say a two-hour thing, hour thing, whatever that someone has put together. Con, you know the history of the show in, you know. Like it's just a, a, a day of our life. As seen yesterday, day. but the last how many years? So what they could do is, so there is enough, uh, it's, you know, things have been digitally recorded for at least 15 years now, right? You mm-hmm. know, like uh, the film industry has been the digital film industry for quite some time. And 15 mm-hmm. years is a lot of content, a lot of story. When it comes down to it, you could do on these days of our live shows or on my like Hulu for GH or something like that, a little like retrospective thingy. You could be like the Quartermain family and have an hour presentation. You're like, um, gosh, I, I wish I could, I wish I could make a reference that isn't a wrestling reference every once in a while, but here we go. <laughs> well, it, it, it was a big part of my life for a long time. Wrestling aren't that different, really. They really aren't. It comes uh, to the a whole thing. But uh, wrestling used to put out these DVD documentaries where it had uh, just like this hour long just documentary of these other wrestlers talking about this other wrestler and their favorite moments and they would show clips and interview mm-hmm. segments and parts of matches and stuff and it was just you know, mm-hmm. like in 1968 when Dusty Rhodes faced Ric Flair for the eighth yeah. time and all of that kind of <laughs> yeah. you know just yeah. and I just loved it when he jumped off the cage and blah 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 uh, and they put together an hour of that and it was good and it was enough to cover the big highlights and all that kind of stuff and you got to know the career of this person or the career of all, of all that and they put in their own little interview things and talk about their perspective and blah 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 they oh. could do the same thing they could they could get yeah, there's something out there leslie charleston i don't know about tell me 
You know, like oh, Lily Charleston hosting the the Quartermain retrospective on Hulu. You know, like you get her face out there. She doesn't have to move a lot. She gets to talk about the the glory days of of when she was on and stuff. You can use clips of whatever you still have access to. Whatever hasn't been taped over or burned in a fire. Didn't they do a? You guys didn't they do a nighttime show one time that was similar to that? I, didn't we watch it during the COVID thing? Yeah, I think we did. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it was like the history yeah, of soap. Was, yeah. That's when I learned that O.J. Simpson ruined soaps forever. Yep. <laughs> Change television. That's for sure. People are flocking to this, and it didn't cost us a dime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Mama loves Steve Burton. How about Jack's coming back? No way. He burned so many bridges leaving General Hospital that they are never even going to utter the name Ingo Rademacher in a meeting ever I again. I think he talked too much smack as he was shutting the door. For some reason, Cheryl is suggesting that we take extra vitamin D supplements. So that's not a bad thing. I don't really know what it has to do with what we're talking about. But thank you very much, Cheryl. Um, <laughs> vitamin D supplements are important. Maybe she's calling me pale. I'm just washed out from the camera because I don't know how to do stuff. Um, General Hospital, what if, says Lissa, like, a, like the Marvel thing, like just alternate realities. I think the actors would love that. Like... Stick Nancy Lee. Or what if Nancy Lee Grand's Alexis ran for governor? You know, <laughs> she'd mm -hmm. be all over that. <laughs> she would be all over that. Hmm. <laughs> oh yeah, Jax is never coming back. See, Sh Chandra and oh, I. I doubt it. Kindred, I kindred doubt spirits. It. Chandra and I. Like I said, he just talked too much when he walked out. The, was as he was walking out the door. He did. Had he too did. much to say the last couple of weeks after he left. Mm -hmm. Or you know, where Steve Burton. He took the silent high road, basically. Oh, yeah. He only had, like, one thing to say at the end. He's like, I tried. Sorry. Bye. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. um, Melissa thinks that Jerry Jacks should come back. You know, wh while we're bringing villains oh. in, let's bring in Jerry Jacks. They mentioned character. Olivia Jerome. Let's 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 pretend like Holly didn't do it, and it was really Alex. Like, let's let's do it, you know? Let's bring in um, Elijah from, from Nixon Falls. You know, let's just get a gang <laughs> of these villains working with oh, each other to try them. to take out our heroes. I'm, I'm with it. Let's do it. Uh, but only with Sebastian Roche. Nobody else. Nobody else. Nobody else can step into the role of Jerry Jacks and have me. Well, I'll still watch it and I'll still comment on it and I'll probably still find a way to enjoy it, but I don't want it. Yeah. <laughs> it's his favorite. I, his... Man, when he was there, when he blew up the Metro Court, I know. it's crazy. Just such a memory. Just such a memory, Mr. Craig. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Uh, what was his character's name? What did he call himself first? Mr. Craig. Mr. Right? Craig, that's right. I, I yeah. could not be wrong. At Matt, Ooh, Mama Cat yeah. was talking about the wedding and the virus sharing. Vitamin D, got it. That's what it has to do with it. If I take oh, vitamin D, oh, it will oh, help oh. you make sure that you're staying off <laughs> any sort of illness. Thank you so much, Cheryl, for Thank clarifying you. that. I appreciate it. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, taking vitamin D is not a bad idea. Unless you're yeah. a construction worker that's always in the sun. You probably need some vitamin D supplements. People spend too much time inside. That's just the way life is. It's encouraged. And your body doesn't manufacture it as well you as know. you get older. Well, well, there you go. Even even if maybe, you know, you still you go. have a source, but you don't drink, drink some milk for the calcium, some, some, some solid bones in there. You don't want to get osteoporosis for two yes. weeks like Alexis did and then never talk about it again. That's true, huh? Yeah, you know, yeah. you know, it's, you know, it's not it's like Huntington's, which suddenly gets worse. Her wrist thing. <laughs> Jerry Jack should come back and form a relationship with his niece after the death of Jasper off screen. I, like I said, previous podcasts, I am surprised that Jax's plane did not go down on the way back to Australia. I really <laughs> am shocked that that didn't happen. Like, eventually, Victor is going to be like, oh, oh, Jax has a piece of the 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 Ice Princess. I've got to go murder him, and then he's going to kill him off screen. You know. Yeah. <laughs> Man, what do you? I guess Holly did one, shoot Lisa. Lucy, huh? I'm sorry. I guess Holly did shoot Lucy. Holly shot Lucy twice in the belly. Um, I don't think Lucy's dead, but goodness gracious. Yeah. She could be. <laughs> I don't think she's dead. I, you know, I thought I think they got her stuck away. I, I don't know, man. Like, like when it comes dead. down to it, when it comes down to it sometimes you should kill people like there's been so there's a hook killer there's a shooter there's a who did this there's an ant on the run there's all kinds of like potential when it comes to like deaths on the show um and then like we've lost brando and yeah. that's it you know yeah <laughs> like sure oz but who cares 
Hmm. I don't know. I don't and know. this week we and the and the the hooker should be in line to try to get somebody again. There's been a few days now since the whole Nicholas thing. And like I said last week, I don't believe that that person was the same person from the other times. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I just, any, I, it's, 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 it's convoluted and we've only lost one person that matters. Um, and, eh, you know, like, 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 like kill Lucy. I know people don't want it. She's a legacy character. You can't kill Lucy. Yeah, you can't. Kill Lucy. Kill Kevin. Kill Scotty. Kill them all. You know, like bring some no! drama. Oh, Matt. No. <laughs> Um, uh, that is true, Chandra. If 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 Lucy is dead, Lynn Herring would have deserved a better send off. Ain't that a fact? You know, like some sort of heroic. I'm going to throw myself on the grenade type of deal. Absolutely. Yep, yep, yep. And yeah, just before she dies, be she gives her her voting share away. You know. <laughs> and I know, and I know that. Um, and Nancy Lee Grand told us this: that in the next couple of weeks, we're going to find out who it is. I mean, I hope so. Alyssa right now is suggesting that Heather is the hook killer. She's doing it to avenge what happened to Cameron. Um, that would be a cool little turn, an unexpected turn. Heather Weber's doing it to protect it because of Cameron, you know, who's been kind of like the forgotten character in the saga. Well, and Heather, that's been her ammo in the past. She finds that she gets some little tiny bit of information mm -hmm. and just goes nutso about it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Observes Franco's the smallest thing. Stimson was put on the internet and they saw his wang doodle? No. Yes, exactly. No. And then her like eyes go like this. <laughs> you know, you know, I'm, I don't know. I'm into it. I'm into it. And I, I just, I do want to know what Heather Weber would refer to a penis as. Like, is it a, is it a, is it a, is it a doohickey? A, a winky? A wiener? Uh, probably. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you thought. <laughs> Why would Heather go after Ava or Joss? Because she's nuts. She doesn't see that Jocelyn is right for her. Uh, him. Um, she hates Carly. She thinks that being associated with somebody associated with the mob is dangerous. But typically what Heather's always done in the past, if she obsesses about somebody, mm -hmm. somebody that she loves or somebody that she wants to be with, like Luke. You know, she went mm -hmm. nutso, and then she'll do anything to protect them. And her crazy mind makes these um, scenarios up that don't exist. Yeah. And to her, she's protecting them, and she does these nutso things. Tax well, people he can't be recorded with Jocelyn again if Jocelyn's dead. Exactly. It's easy. That, yeah, it's, it's easy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you guys didn't think of this before. <laughs> Total Heather Weber, absolutely. Totally, absolutely. Yeah, that's Heather. Just kill him. That is her. Why did? Oh, you just, just just kill him. If yeah. he's dead, it's not a problem. What's going I, on? I, I can't do that, Heather. I mean, it's gonna be a problem for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness, creepy Adam is a good theory. What? What? Heather is the hook killer. Gladys is up to no good. People are just having a great time talking about Gladys they hate. is not up to no good. I'm disappointed in Gladys. Uh, you know, she can't Why be cool. They leave she can't be nice forever. Yes, if they just keep her being nice and being nice and being nice and not making any mistakes, well, then she'll become boring. And this does not eliminate the growth that Gladys has. Mm -hmm. You know, look at us just suddenly turning gears. Um, it doesn't eliminate any of the um any any of the growth that Gladys has. It doesn't eliminate any of the heart or the love that she has for Sasha or Brando or Liam or anything like that. All it is is just reminding us and giving uh Gladys an opportunity to rub elbows with power, which is something that has been par for the course for Gladys Corbin her entire run. Yeah, and her greed for money as well, and I think that plays mm -hmm. into it too. Yeah. Hopefully, um, before she gets in too deep, because man, oh man, Mrs. Wu just be you dumb, know, just yeah. would deal with her, right? No problem. <laughs> so, She's pretty scary. Yeah. Um, so the big, the big problem, the big Donnie problem, better come to the rescue. The big issue, the big a issue with this is that Gladys doesn't have a crap ton of money. Sasha has a crap ton exactly. of money that Gladys controls. Exactly. So she's, she's not gonna really going to be investing Sasha her money. own money in this. Yeah, she's going to wind up at her because she's going to be greedy. Mm -hmm. And um, she's going to be greedy and, and she's going to wind up losing Sasha's money. She's going to wind up losing Sasha's money. Now, this is going to tie in with That's Cody in Gladys some right way. There. Okay. That's old Gladys right there. 
<laughs> right. Right. So, um, so, so, um, so Brit's on the way out. So Cody's current story, heavy story is, is vanishing. You know, his, his whole thing with Brit is going to stop here in the next couple of weeks. Kelly, mm -hmm. I believe is finished already with filming and has moved on to station 19. Um, she is starting her new chapter in life. She is leaving behind old demons and looking for tomorrow and, and go on her Instagram. It is fun. Um, mm -hmm. just, if you don't, I don't know anything about her, but I can just see the relief and the excitement in her form on Instagram. So go check it out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Cool. She did, she put up this video, just her dancing on the beach. Just, I feel so <laughs> free. Do, 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 do. Anyway, uh, <laughs> excuse me. Uh, so, uh, so she's on the way out, uh, bring up Cody. Cody is going to be doing, Cody does these poker games as a ringer to drive up the bets and make sure that people are taking loans and all that kind of stuff. So Miss Wu makes money off of it. So is he going to take Sasha's money and then feel bad about it and get involved in some way? Mm -hmm. And now Cody and Sasha is the direction we're going to be going in. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Is he going to recognize what's happening and try to get Gladys to not give away all of Sasha's money by being a bad poker player? Well, that's that's good story writing right there, Matt. That's a, I hope that's what they do. You know, where he's just like, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta somehow be the ringer that drives up the bets for everybody else, but gets Gladys to not. You yeah. know, I, I don't know. Well, that would be the only halfway decent thing he'd be up to actually because his agenda would be to save Sasha's well he's torn he's a torn person and a torn character yeah. right now you know oh, yeah. he wants the diamonds but also wants the family he can't have both and Uncle Victor heard him talking about it at the mm -hmm. end there so how does it feel that to last thing right it's like oh my goodness on the other side of this door they're talking about the thing that I want I'm gonna have to kill somebody <laughs> So maybe that's how, maybe that's what happens to, to Sasha, or not Sasha, to, um, to Brit. Maybe Brit gets kidnapped by Victor. I know about your Huntington's disease. Your Jason died. He's actually alive. Come with me. Let's go find him. <gasps> I don't know. Yeah. Uh -huh. I don't know. Oh. Cody and Sasha throw ups. <laughs> Chandra doesn't like it. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Well, man. they do have to, but you're right, though. They do have to write something different for Cody mm -hmm. with with so much of his scenes yeah. had been involved with Brit in some way. In and some since form. Frank Valentini has a crush on Cody, he's got to have a romantic pairing in some way. So, yeah. And, you know, and they, they've dropped the story, even though he is Mac's son. Well, they didn't really drop it. He's lying. We'll, we'll pick really it up again it, later. Drop it, but they put it on the back burner for now because Cody's not going to come tell the truth. No, no. <laughs> Unless someone else Sam's finds gonna it. going to find out. So unless someone else finds it, because you know Sam, Sam, Sam's on his case. Sam's like, all right, you knew Sam about this necklace. You you made Spinelli pair you a Brit so you can get to know her, so you can get at this necklace. And he's like, me, mm -hmm. me? You think I'm bad when you're hanging about Dante? Bye. Yeah, <laughs> dropped a little Dante bomb. Then then that does Dante, probably that does a, probably well, find okay. out that we're we're gonna find out something about Dante that we don't know. But here's the thing about it, though. Like, okay, uh, is it Dante's got a kid? Because I know Brenda. Like, that's 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 one I'll take. You know, Dante's yeah. got another kid out there. He doesn't know about it, or he knew about it and is keeping it a secret because he's ashamed because it's his father's girlfriend. I don't know, but mm -hmm. I, that that would be a good one. You know, but it's really not all that nefarious. You know, he's got a kid he doesn't know about, or he's got a kid he knows about but doesn't talk about. It. I, don't, I don't know. It's not so bad. Here's the other side of that coin, though. They have established that 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 Cody and Dante haven't known each other since they were twelve. They just kind of picked up where they left off as boys. So, yeah. what could could Cody possibly know that Dante has done? That's true. I mean, you know, unless he's just know some information about something. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. That's kind of boring, though. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, uh, we got another sex bot came into the chat. Gotta clear that out. Nobody okay. needs to see it. Boom. Just gotta make one of these people a moderator to do it for me. Who wants to be a moderator? Somebody, somebody volunteer. I'll make you a moderator real quick. Uh, <laughs> thanks, Chandra. Um, anyway, what were we talking about? Cody? Oh, yeah, Cody Cody sent his virus into our chat. Because uh, he's hacked Spinelli's. <laughs> 
Oh, well, goodness. yeah, Cody's going to, they're going to have to come up with some more stuff from Cody. And I think they are starting to lay. Yeah. 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 I mean, it, I mean, the, the, the minefield is set. Uh, wow. Cheryl just screaming. I'll do it. Woo -hoo! All right, Cheryl, I'll make you a moderator. <laughs> Boom. I think that worked. I don't know. Hey, look at that. You're now a moderator for my channel. Uh, don't abuse that power. I don't know what you can do. Uh, <laughs> 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 oh, goodness gracious. Oh, hey, here, here, here you go, Cheryl. Uh, Chandra, you can be a moderator too. Uh, you guys can moderate each other. Perfect. <laughs> now we got checks and balances. You know, now we got, uh, you know, people being able to make sure that everybody is nice. So great. Excellent. Wonderful. Yeah. Cody. I Cody needs that. a moderator. Cody, yeah. Maybe, see, Mac, Mac could be a perfect moderator for Cody. Hmm. Really? Really? Well, Cody's a bad, I think, Pat, Cody's, Cody's doing bad things right now. Hmm. He, he needs a In Mac. A way. He needs, he needs Mac to, to be like, come on, come on, Cody. Come on. You can make better choices. <laughs> I'm Mac Scorpio. I'll work on it. <laughs> I'll work on it. I'll work on it. It's just, you know, people, don't, it's a distinctive voice. I, I could probably knock on a Mac if I tried hard enough. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, you know, you know, I don't yeah. know. I don't know. Yeah. I just need some Artie Gray. That's all I need. Cody needs a keeper. Boom. There we go. Thank you, Chandra, for using your powers for good. <sighs> so, uh, so uh, um, as it turns out, no uh, matter how much or little screen time Austin gets, nobody wants him. <laughs> nobody wants him. <laughs> all right. There's Roger Howard fans out there that drool over this man want him on and just love his performances because he is a great actor he has he's got he great is. comedic timing he's got the dramatic chops he could be scared like yes. he is when you come when you when it comes down to it if you want a soap actor you you pull roger howarth into something if you need something to work you could put roger howarth into it all right yeah because uh, because his performance about like when i see austin alone in the hallway on the phone being like yeah all right i'll take care of it for your charge it did like it's there like the moment mm -hmm. is there the character is yeah. there the emotion is there the feeling is there it's just the interest in what is going on is not there for the audience for me at least mm -hmm. you know and i know a lot of people agree with me on that uh well it's, it's time to show part. us who the who that who he's talking about who's pulling the strings it's time for them to show us who it is right 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 if since since this is going on since this is the direction of austin since this is what's happening whether you like it or not whether you agree with it or not whether you think it's good or not it's what's happening so since it's happening let's have it happen huh <laughs> yeah um I like him a little better with Maxi than I did before. I think their scenes together are a little better than they were before. But poor old Spinelli, huh? He he's pining over Maxi. Yeah. He'd like to have Matt his Maximina back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maximista. Maximista. Yeah, I mean he, he he I mean, so he's like Caesar and then the, oh, but he's she's with Austin. Let me just let me let me leave before she notices me. Yeah. Well, they talked about Georgie a little bit this week, but I hope it was too bad she wasn't there because I love her. Little I mean, she was so good. I need I need Spinelli and Georgie <laughs> in a scene together. I need to know. Uh, so I need Bradford Anderson on the show to talk about whether or not he worked with the actress who plays Georgie to get the Spinelliism down. Yeah. You know the spin the, the the Spinelli part. Cheryl, I tried to give you a spanner this time again. Let me let me know. Spanners are wrenches, I guess, in other parts of the country. Just just so you're aware. Uh, <laughs> um. In any case, uh, Georgie's great. I would love to see her more. Um, I think that they've done a pretty good job with the kids recently. Like the kids, kids, you know, mm -hmm. the kids, kids, because mm -hmm. there's no teens right now. Yeah, the Rocco's a teenager or whatever, but he, he's there only to suggest sandwiches. Speaking of, let's let's go ahead and just bounce off of this like ping, like like pong, you know, bink off of that bit, <laughs> off of that bumper. It's going to go across the field off of this bumper, right? We're going to hit the wall, come down, hit this bumper, and we're going to talk about sandwiches. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sandwiches. Um, what a sweet moment. Yeah. Like, honestly, like, I think that the bringing the sandwich from Sal's and Sam being all like, yeah, this was Rocco's idea. We all went to get sandwiches together and stuff. Did it was 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 just cute. I think that Dante and I Sam cute are cute as hell together. Yeah. I, I, I really I like, like them. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Um, and then it goes to show, you know, that their families are blending well. Rocco's hanging out with Sam and not being a problem. Being mm -hmm. the one that says, let's have this for dinner and, 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 and stuff. 
So, you know. Yeah. And as long as they can keep the characters doing something else as well. Yeah. You know, yeah. that makes them interesting. Not necessarily something else together because currently they're not really. What they're doing together is all their cuteness. Mm -hmm. And, and it, it looks so, it is really cute. It's really well, well done. I think so too. I think, I think it's really well done. But, you know, Sam got her little PI stuff going on. Mm -hmm. She's going to be involved with the, with the Ice Princess and all that. So she's going to be part of that. So that's great. So, you know, uh, maybe they'll leave them together. They should. Uh, since they have side stories, sub, yeah. you know, sub stories. And that's how it works. That's how it works. I mean, all of these fandoms are out there just like, I can't wait to see so-and-so have scenes together and so-and-so have scenes together and so-and-so have scenes together. And so I need Vanna. I need Vanna. I need Vanna. I need Sprina, 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 Sprina. Um, and now maybe it is because they don't do enough together because they all I have their own individual Dante things and, happening. I, I want to see Dante and Sam's Christmas tree. You know, like, oh, they're going to have a wonderful <laughs> Christmas together. And, uh, they're doing like remodeling too. So that, that, that penthouse set is going to get a facelift. Oh, wow. It's been a long time, hasn't it? Oh, my gosh, yes. Yeah, a big I mean, part that of that was... conversation was about, uh, well, we're going to save our money. We're going to go to Iceland, and we're going to do the renovation ourselves. And they're like, oh, can we do a renovation? And it's like, yeah, it's going to be a family thing. We're going to have a montage. I hope there's a montage where they, like, put paint on each other's faces and they're walking on sunshine. <laughs> Whoa. Right? And then, like, they're wearing overalls, and then they accidentally hammer through the drywall, and they're like, oops. So you, you know? really like Dante and Sam together, don't you? I do. You? I really do. I've, <laughs> over the last couple of weeks, I've really come to really like them, and I've also really come to really like Dante there was something interesting about Dante because I've never not liked Dante you know it's not like I've been like oh this character I hate him he needs to leave mm -hmm. um um but he is like such a linchpin for me it's really interesting because um he isn't overly involved in things he's involved mm -hmm. appropriately in things right mm -hmm. and his interactions with everybody are good there's they just are. something so solid about dante he's like uh -huh. he's like the keenan thompson of mm -hmm. general hospital <clears throat> keenan thompson uh, famously uh will have a job with saturday night live for as long as keenan thompson wants it mm -hmm. lauren michaels has gone on record saying i will not ever suggest or tell keenan thompson it is time to move on because whenever I need somebody to deliver in any sketch, I know that I can grab Keenan and he's going to do it. He's going to pull a face. He's going to say a line. He's going to do something that Keenan does and the people are going to laugh at it. He is always yeah. going to bring it on my show. I am mm -hmm. never going to say, do it. It's time to move on. Mm -hmm. Dante, Dominic Zampranga. If you need somebody solid in your scene to play love, to, it, like, like it's just like what I was saying with Roger Howarth a moment ago. Yeah. But there's such grounded realism to Dante yeah. in the soap world that just works. Yeah. You know, it's so good. It's really good. Um, <laughs> uh, Chandra says that Dante's character has changed. He's balanced the gray area quite well. Um, I don't well, really know I... Goody Two Shoes Dante. So. Well, yeah, yeah, and and um, I I. His run of, of Dante this time opposed to when before when he left, before he left, um, is different. Mm -hmm. It seems like it is, it's he's just more different. Relaxed. You know, he's, uh, the most complimentary thing I can say is when I'm really watching Dante, I just, I kind of forget that it's, he's acting. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. His, his care, his, so his delivery is very natural. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he he has an amazing natural ability to him for sure, for sure. Uh, even even one little quiet little one liners that he gets off just, you know, yeah. just slide right out of the tongue. It's great. Uh, <laughs> oh goodness gracious! Um, everything's realistic, so we got ag agreements in there when it comes to the uh, the chat. Uh, who doesn't love the Canadian cutie? Asks Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> and it uh, seems that I as he's aging. Yeah. As Dom is aging, um, he looks more like Maurice Bernard to me than he used to. There, yeah. I, I, <laughs> a yeah. little, little bit of similar, you know, a similarity. Was it last week that we were saying that this this little punk person in uh, Jocelyn's college should actually be Dante's kid, so he has grandpa's eyes? <laughs> <laughs> is it because he's away from Lulu? Asks Chandra. I don't know because Dante was Dante and Lulu. Lulu Dante was the thing for a long time like for the majority of the run of the character right 
Um, so yeah, it is an opportunity to be very different and play differently. Um, I remember at the, at the convention, cause, cause when we went to the convention and Mark, Sam and Don, March, uh, Sam and Dante were very new, relatively new. Mm -hmm. And there was a lot of questions about, well, what about Lulu? Well, what about Lulu? Mm -hmm. And, and, uh, Dominic's response every time was, I'm having a good time playing new things. Mm -hmm. You know, like. Because uh, people really yeah. wanted him to say, you know, they shouldn't have put Dante with him, with her. Um, <laughs> he should stay single until Lulu wakes up because that's where his heart truly lies. Like, that's what they wanted him to say. But mm -hmm. he's not going to say that. He's an actor on the show. He's got to promote what's happening right now, whether he likes it or not. Um, whatever. Whatever. Um, but I am, I'm inclined to agree. Honestly, you know, I've said this before. I'm all for Lulu coming back if it's Julie Berman. Yeah. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. just I, I just you know, Lulu had more of an edge back then. Mm -hmm. She's more of Spencer. That's that's it. I'm all for Lulu coming back if she's Lulu Spencer. If she's Lulu Spencer, she shows up and she like grabs a handful of Sam's hair and says, "I'm back." B word. Yeah, she, you know. <laughs> Cheryl wishes that Lulu was back. I mean, uh, I I I remember Lulu from name. You know. I remember po 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 popping on the show every once in a while and be like, oh, who's that? Oh, that's Lulu. Oh, I remember Lulu when she was this big, you know. Mm -hmm. But really, when it comes down to it, I didn't get a solid run of who Lulu was until Valentine, um, until it was de de determined that Valentine was Charlotte's father. Like, Charlotte's father, yeah. That so you, so you the, don't, you're not really even familiar with the, the Lulu one. No, no. I'm, you know, I'm, the, really, the, I'm, I'm mostly familiar Julie, with reporter Julie. Lulu that was do up to nothing. So... <laughs> Well, she was just a lot more. I can't really give you a, an an absolute uh, example, but mm -hmm. um, her character was more adventurous then. Yeah, more fire. Um, you know, she didn't have kids yet. Yeah, I mean, it was a different. It was different in that way, but she just had a Spencer edge. She did. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, Laura is the person that's carrying around the Spencer edge, and she ain't even a blood Spencer. <laughs> I know. All right, right. we gotta talk about Laura. Let's talk about Laura. Okay, Holly did it. All right. But you know what interesting? You know what interesting thing? All right. Laura marches into town. We're bing, bong, bing, ping, pong, boom, boom, boom. Right. Boom. Mm -hmm. off, of, off of that onto a new topic. Uh, <laughs> Laura comes back to town, right? She sits down. She has one conversation with Holly. And then she leans over to Robert like, she's lying, bro. Yep. <laughs> yep. And I think Robert has figured it out already. Oh, he totally did. That's why he sat down and said, so you got some explaining to do. I'm Australian. Um, yep. Yep. I loved it. <laughs> because he they, they be he, he set her up, he he totally he set, set her up. up. Yep. Hello. Oh, we know what Anna is, huh? Hey, Holly, we found out what Anna is. Isn't that great? All right, where <laughs> is she? All right. So don't tell me over the phone. <laughs> <laughs> Send me a text message. Ooh, I need to go pee. It's gonna take a while because I'm old, <laughs> right? And then he leaves to go pee, and it's gonna take fifteen minutes because he's old. Um. <laughs> leaving enough time for Holly to investigate the phone. He doesn't even have like face recognition on. She just like, okay. It was one nine nine. I know it was one nine nine. Something, 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 something. Yeah. Something, something. <laughs> Lulu used to be Joss. <laughs> I guess Joss is the new Lulu. I guess well, Lulu would have been oh, stitching people's yeah, up. Absolutely. People's holes you're up. right. Lulu used to be Joss. That, that that was the kind of character she was. Well, there we go. We gave it to Jocelyn instead. Um, so yeah, it's almost ready. Totally I'm right. leaving my phone out. <laughs> <laughs> and so he totally sets up Holly. Totally, totally, totally sets up Holly. Mm -hmm. And lo and behold, oh, you want some kind of thing. It's a, yeah, mix it. I don't, I can't. I'm not a professional. Okay. I'm sorry, Kelly. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> She said it was it was a mix of Robert and Victor. So I'm gonna. Well, thanks for joining us on the tenth floor, buddy. I've been Matt. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sad. Everything's fine. Um, <laughs> oh, Victor Casadine. Um, <laughs> uh, Man, how many things does he have? His <laughs> he got a hand in everything, doesn't he? He's he's the everything. god of Fort Charles. Anything that's going on, Victor Cassidyne has done. It's all Victor. It's all Victor. Victor brought Holly back. Okay. Victor's made Anna go on the run. Okay. Victor, who knows who's on Victor's payroll? You know. Laura better be very careful about around Victor. She needs, he's going to be gunning for her. She needs the armor of the law. 
in Martin Gray, and she needs the armor of the Lord in <laughs> Cyrus Renault, right? And together, they can put an end to Cassidine. <laughs> Goodness. I don't know, little brother. I don't think that the Lord would approve of this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, Sal. All we got to do is just ask for forgiveness. <laughs> oh, oh goodness gracious oh goodness <laughs> oh man oh, well man. laura but she does have to be really uncle victor's gonna be gunning for her oh he was already oh. wanted her dead the house wasn't supposed to burn down you know she was supposed to be dead already <laughs> she was supposed to be poisoned and dead yeah. but no 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 no, 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 so, no. she's she very did, much alive and still like her. But she sure does stand up to him, though, doesn't she? Oh, yeah, she's ready. She's ready. I hope she carries a piece on her, you know, just in case well, anything she goes her. <laughs> Just a little dainty little girl gun inside of her uh, inside her clutch, you know? Man, she better at least have some, like, tear gas on her or something. <laughs> Pepper spray. <laughs> something, 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 oh. something, something. Oh gosh, that's that's nuts. That's nuts. Anyway, so you know, uh, uh well, and so uh, empty house, all that kind of stuff, and then and then Mac is like, now they're not gonna underestimate Anna. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, embarrassing the FBI, all that kind of stuff. You know, oh, we this tipster, and now we can't believe any tips that come through, right? Now things are gonna have to be second guessed because we're not gonna rush in there and waste those resources. Yep. And Valentine rushed out to bone Anna one more time before she left. <laughs> I can't leave. Sure I'm doing it one more time, Hannah. <laughs> what are you doing here? You can't be here. I need. I'm, I'm here to tell you, you, you need to leave and to give you some. Uh, you know. People love it. People oh, love it. It's funny. You know, I'll, I'll give it to him. So, so what I see when um, when Valentine and Anna are together and they start making out, right? Mm -hmm. You've got you've got <laughs> you got James Patrick Stewart and you've got Fanola Hughes, seasoned actors. I'm sure they get along great backstage. But, and he probably does this on purpose because he likes to have fun with people. You know, he's mm -hmm. talked about it. He's they have fun on that set, falling yeah. down out of burning yeah, buildings. He's and a stuff. prankster, right? You know, he's a prankster. He kisses the hell out of her. <laughs> you know, and it's not like disgusting looking her face type of not grossness, uh -huh. but but he kisses her, right? Yeah. And I can just, I, I don't know, I could just see Fanol Hughes at, at when they say cut going. Okay, James. <laughs> I'm glad that Valentine really likes Anna. Oh my god. Because he he you know, and it's not I'm not saying yeah. it's like a porno kiss, it's not disgusting or yeah. anything like that, but he gets he he really kisses her. Yeah. It's not a stage kiss. He he kisses her like he would kiss his wife. Mm-hmm. So, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh man so you know they didn't want more but you're right though that was the point of that last encounter yeah it was just oh uh, you know i can't, I can't <laughs> let you go anna without just just in case you die i just need to give just it to gotta you, give one more you a little more you know but... <laughs> <laughs> uh Alyssa thinks though that valentine can make out with anything and make it look sensual so you know valentine with a toaster mm -hmm. well, he was pretty mm -hmm. good at making out with nina too it's because he he, he kisses them for real yeah kisses them just blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> I can see Fanola laughing your ass off at cut, says Kelly. So yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, do you know how long Cyrus will be locked up? Nope. I hope he gets out soon though. Oh. That's fine. Maybe he'll get out at the same time as Spencer, just in time for the new year. Um I think Spencer's gonna get out right about Christmas. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well uh, so there was pictures, more pictures of Tabiana and, and, and Nicholas Chavez, you know. So, um, we got a really special treat as yes, fans of Sprina. Um, because, um, uh, uh, Terry, Terry Randolph, you know, you know, that, that, that character, that actress, Cassandra James, they were in the makeup chair together and she took a picture of them too. Oh my God. They were standing next to each other, mom. Oh my God. So, okay. So we got a picture of them two standing next to each other, getting their hair done. Okay. Oh my god, I can't believe they're on the same show together and in the same room together. Oh my god. Um and their costumes were sparkly and blue. It was like dark blue, and sparkly, and it has to be New Year. And I just can't wait for spring and New Year. So that's what happened. So hopefully he'll be out by the new year. Wow. It really seems like it. <laughs> I'm picking. I'm fun I'm 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 not I'm I'm not being mean, you guys. Come on. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> suddenly 
<laughs> the GH ASMR. <laughs> oh goodness. Well, uh. you know, when it comes to fandom, they get they're 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 getting big. They huge, are. They're getting what big. A huge fandom. Now, and, you know, they have a big it's fandom. Passionate. They're, it's you know, a I, passionate. I wouldn't call them Luke and Laura, but I would certainly call them a super couple at this point. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm making fun because I, I can. It's easy to do. It's so easy to see on Twitter. You know, like back in the day, <laughs> Luke and Laura, you know, there, I'm sure there were people that were just as, you know, they pick up People magazine and they're like behind the scenes shots of of, of Anthony Geary and, 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 and Jeannie Francis. And I'm like, oh, my God. Oh, they're so adorable together behind the scenes. Look at them mm -hmm. being cute as actors. I get it. I get it. Yeah. I'm just making it fun, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, but it, yeah, so it seems like he's going to be out in time for New Year's and have some sort of party uh, with with Trina. Now, here here's the thing, guys. You got it now. Now, let's be nice to the actors as well for any sort of accidental spoiler that may come from pictures behind the scenes. All right, they they're not trying to do that. You know, you're extrapolating what you want from this costuming. Yeah, because it got mad at our laundry, you know. Our friend, our laundry, a friend of the show, our laundry, Alinier, they got mad at her. Really? Yeah, because she took a behind the scenes picture of like herself in a costume or something. She was excited because Nika was going to wear something different, right? Yeah. And in the monitor in the back was, because uh, I guess they, I guess the monitors show what's on the soundstage. Okay. You know, I guess that's okay. my guess. And uh -huh. on it was a picture of, uh, a big, big picture of Brando from his funeral. And people in their suits and they're and it's kind of grainy it's not easy to see but you can kind of tell it's a big picture of brando now here's the thing this picture came out after brando was hooked but before he died oh okay so the people that were really into brando was like what the fudge is this right my hope is gone how dare you are Alondria? and she she was just like sorry didn't mean to yeah it's just taking a picture yeah. of my cute outfit Oops, you know? Yeah. So, you know, let's let's be nice yeah. to anybody that might be mad about a spoiler from <laughs> Spring of Fandom of them uh, potentially having some sort of uh, something together in New Year's Eve. Um, but Kelly loves Vanna. People love Vanna. Vanna, Vanna, Vanna. I think that Anna is going to be taking at least a few weeks off. I don't think we're going to see the character for a little bit. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, too. I think she might be off. Yeah, I think she her summer be vacation became a holiday a vacation. Bit. Is she going to have a little... Off canvas for a little bit. Uh, uh, Daisy uh, says that Sprina is not a super couple and she's kind of on a Sprina overload. I can understand that. While the show is not giving us a crap ton of Sprina, the fandom is giving us a lot of Sprina. And I can understand that there could be a little bit of fatigue there, especially if you're on Twitter. Um, for some reason, Twitter really seems to favor the Sprina fandom when it comes to the content that is shown. Um, yeah, this whole Jex right fan base, Mark. It's not like they it? have a ton of scenes together. They don't. There's an entire huge Jex fan base that is just as passionate. They just didn't send a plane, you know? Like, people really like Jocelyn and Dex. There's some people out there that are just totally into it. <clears throat> but, you know, I, I'm I'm not... Um, I like, I like uh, Spencer and Trina together. Yeah. And I'm looking Definitely. forward to seeing Spencer and Trina kiss, mm -hmm. too. Yeah, it's going to be great. Now, when that happens, yeah, though, are you guys still going to be all into it? Or are you going to be like, great. Let's move on to something else. <laughs> you know, is is the mystique going to be gone? Well, they better get him involved in something else quick or it will. Because, you know, the, the will they or won't they, once they answer that question. Yeah. That's the draw, the will they or won't they, right? So Yeah. There's mm -hmm. got to be something else. Well, you know, maybe between now and then, uh, there'll be some kind of the other portions of their s stories. Spencer's going to find out about the baby. Because I don't, I don't think he knows about the baby yet. No, he doesn't know she's So he's going to find there. out about the baby, and he's going to be like, all right, we're going to pretend Really, the only mine. person that knows that she's stuck up there is Elizabeth. All right, Trina, the only thing that we could do, you and me, Trina, this is it, all right? We're going we're gonna to say that I'm the baby daddy, all right? We're going to make sure that Esme does not get custody of this baby. We're going to keep this baby as far away from my father as possible, and you and me are going to raise a squirt at 19 years old. <laughs> there's some drama <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know <laughs> wow <laughs> Tresme I can't wait until the five years now when Trina and Esme are besties I don't know I want Esme to stay just crazy I want I want I want her mom to be Olivia Jerome or something because that's the new theory um <laughs> everybody's Esme's mom uh <laughs> wow well I think we're gonna get some answers to that stuff can't be too too yeah. far away but the baby whole baby story has to unfold too. 
Yeah. You know, yeah. baby's probably going to be born early. They're going to have no choice but to let to get her off the island and take her to the regular hospital because they're going to need the NICU. Mm -hmm. Some mm -hmm. capacity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Chandra brings some insight into Sabrina fandoms a little bit. While she personally doesn't get too deep into the fandoms, uh, black women and girls are happy to see a person who looks like them finally being featured. It really hasn't happened on GH. Um, people talk about Gia and stuff, but really when it comes down to it, a, a prominent black woman character, I guess, really hasn't caught the attention like Trina has in the past. Not not as nobody sent a plane for Gia and Nicholas, right? Um so I guess that's a lot of what's feeding into a lot of this fandom. And and I have no, I mean, I, I'm nowhere near uh, capable yeah. of commentating or anything like that or, or making any sort of like uh, definitive statement on it. But just from my observations alone, the uh, Sabrina fandom is pro predominantly uh, black, at least on Twitter. The representation on Twitter is predominantly black. Mm -hmm. So I can really, I can see if there's a, a, a major connection Absolutely. there for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 The only um, the only similarity that um, I can recall in characters in the past are uh, Jesse and Angie. All my children. I, yeah. Yeah. You know they had. Mm -hmm. But then, uh, but then, I, if you take a look at like the landscape of the show at that time, that was two characters of a cast of twenty, right? Yeah. So. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a little Twitter discourse between Chandra and myself and some other people regarding this. So. No, check that out on our Twitter. Uh, it's it's important. It's valid. Um, and um, really, when it comes down to it, I think that there's um, a, a large fan base uh, in the African American community that really still love soaps. Um, that I don't think it's enough attention from the producers, the advertisers, and those that it is marketed to, and the stories that we see. So there's a big gay fan base too, huge, huge, yeah, and they're still leaning really hard on the the white women, fifty nine plus demo you know that kind of stuff yeah nothing wrong with that i'm not saying there's anything wrong with being in that demographic or anything like that there's nothing wrong with liking the show there's nothing wrong nothing wrong nothing wrong nothing wrong understand i'm saying there's nothing wrong <laughs> just talking about something that is <laughs> uh, uh, matt did you ever go look for port charles episodes you will love it i have not gone to look for port charles episodes i really think that there is just a wide open market for streaming old old soaps that they just need to just stick out there they they do they do especially a full run of something that they would still have like port charles yeah you know like there's no reason to not if i can go on hbo max and find reruns of everwood which is a teen soap from 2002 mm -hmm. i can find all five seasons of that there's no reason why I can't, I shouldn't be able to go on to something similar on a Hulu or something and be able to find the entirety of Port Charles. Well, I think, you know, for all the, all the networks and all the streaming that's available and there's just a, there's, there's just a lot of things they could be doing mm -hmm. to make sure soap operas don't go away. Yeah. 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 There's a lot. There's a lot. Thank you, Kelly, for loving me. I hope you love me a little bit less than my mom, because my mom has to love me the most. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, have we talked no, about, the nearly, talk naked, about <laughs> the nearly naked incognito henchman decks the dastardly delicious, according to, <laughs> uh, according to Lisa. <laughs> uh, well, Carly you... knows all about that now, and she's, gonna, she's helping him. So at this point, Jocelyn has totally seen his, his, his winky, right? You would think so. I would, I would think. <laughs> and she's just like, Cameron's doesn't look like that. <laughs> I like this I one better. <laughs> um, well, yeah. This, it's definitely going to be a Jocelyn Dick storyline. Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, he's, my goodness, He's going to yes. feel a little bit better, and then she's going to feel so happy that she kisses him, and it's going to be like, uh, whoops. Well, he'd been wanting to kiss her even when she was hit, he was getting stitches. He well, really yeah. wanted to kiss her. You know, he's got like his armpit up and stuff. And just, he hasn't <laughs> showered and has just been sweaty. And I just cannot yeah. imagine. I just, anyway. Right. But it's all like, ugh. And she's like, ugh. Mm -hmm. yeah, I don't know. It's weird. It's weird. <laughs> just And then like Trina's not coming into the dorm at all. Like what's Trina doing? Yeah. How did they even get a dorm together? It doesn't work like that. You can't just go to college and be like, oh, that's my roommate. Uh, you know? Was there a big endowment? It, it seems thing? like it seems like they didn't have to give up their well they didn't give up their dorm room 
when this whole um, sex tape thing happened. They didn't right. have to give up the door. <laughs> they were able to go right back to it. Okay, whatever. I'm not going to, I'm not going to, whatever. <laughs> 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 oh, Kelly loves us both equally. That's wonderful. Oh, goodness <laughs> gracious. Uh, remember Alexis and Sean was together. Yes, I do remember Alexis and Sean together, uh, Jacarius. Uh, but Sean is not on the show anymore. Sean showed up and they didn't give him nothing and he left. So yeah. like the actor was like, they didn't develop I, him very much for his last visit. They know, really so. didn't. But you're right. I do remember them together. And I've said this before that Nancy Lee Grand is an expert at doing a sexy scene and her stuff with Sean was hot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they are not showing Molly and TJ to get the seat. This is all, this is all evidence to support what we were just talking about a couple of minutes ago. You know, there's still plenty of room on the horizon for uh, better representation. Uh, across the board uh, when it comes to ethnic makeup and orientation and whatever letter you might associate with on the lgbtqia plus spectrum at this point we're just going to call ourselves not straight uh and everything you know like there's so many letters ma there's too many letters i gotta say as a member of the community we have too many letters back in my day it was lgb right and then yeah. we added the t and then we added the q and then we got the IA and plus, and it's just, it's a lot. And I'm not trying to diminish people well, and their, their lives, remember, okay? but it's a lot. It's it is a lot. lot. And at a certain point, a we are encompassing everybody that isn't a cisgendered straight person. So at this point, why don't we just call ourselves not cis het? Like, I feel like, <laughs> you know, make it a little more, yeah. money, a little more, um, but whatever. Yeah. Maybe I'm too simple. <laughs> <laughs> I know I am. I don't know, man. Anyway, uh, Daisy um, thinks that Dex and Joss are hot, so there we go. You know, Daisy likes a couple. That's wonderful. Well, I I I think they're okay. I do. Okay. All right, Cheryl. Thank you very. Much. Cheryl shared a link in the chat to uh, some illegal um, ways to watch Port Charles. But hey, so long as it's up there on YouTube, go ahead and watch it. Yeah. <laughs> if ABC hasn't pulled it down, have at it. They must not care. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, Kelly, it's, it's, I, I remember the letters because I have to, um, go to the playlist and start from the beginning. It's awesome. Thank you very much, Cheryl. Uh, Dex is sexy, I guess is, is finally what we're landing on in the chat. People, people are starting to find Dex hot. Well, he ain't ugly. No, he's not ugly. He sure has spent a lot of time without a shirt. So much time. He sure has. So much time. I don't know. I like them together. I think they, they look good in the same frame together. And um, when it comes down to it, Cameron is still like, it still has like this, huh, I'm, 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 I'm such an innocent boy uh, energy about Cameron's him. Cameron's going to get know. his feelings hurt real, real soon. Yeah, he's going to be like, I thought we were going to be together forever. And she's going to look at him and go, oh, Cameron, <laughs> with me, <laughs> three steps above your league. You're poor. Get out of here. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> uh, Melissa thinks that well, Dex will be really Well, don't you think Elizabeth is going to have a little too much on her plate? She's going to have to balance going out to Spoon Island, taking care of that girl, talking and, and talking to her. She's going to see her and her dad and all that crap. <laughs> uh, I'm here to see Elizabeth Baldwin. What yeah. are you doing here? <laughs> And they haven't even shown her mom back in town yet. No, that's who I want to see. Give her to Jeff. Bring more Carolyn in. I want more Tasha. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> why does he get to go and she has to stay home? Come on. Come on. Hey, what, what, what Jeff Weber going to do? Oh, I'm so sorry. Hey, I said, well, since 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 you came to see me, now I'm going to come to Port Charles. I know I haven't been here in 30 years. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> Silly. Like, he didn't even have to... Like, there wasn't even a moment of him being like, hmm used to work here it's so different <laughs> nothing nothing <laughs> what are you doing here i need to report myself for violence <laughs> it, man. <It's> excellent matt <laughs> dex looks like a quarter main my goodness he does does he right <gasps> he's dylan's kid somehow he's dylan's kid he does look like a quarter man. You're absolutely right. He was yes, drawn he to the quarter main property. He's got he an does instinct. Remind me, and and this week he kind of reminded me of Jason a little bit. He's AJ's lost kid. Hmm? It's 
Who Drew's knows? Kid. It's Jason's last kid. I don't know. I'm, uh, maybe they want you to think he's like Jason because they're trying to, like, you know, make him Jason stuff. I don't know. Will we see a Jeff and Laura reunion? I don't know. You think I watch the show, Chandra? I don't even watch the show. Um, I read about the show. I'm kidding. I don't know. Jeff and, Jeff and Laura. Laura. I don't know. Laura's pretty busy right now. Yeah. Maybe. I mean, there's time. It's on five days a week. Yeah. And Jeff is her uncle. Oh, well, there we go. Uncle Jeff. Uncle Jeff. Huh? I don't even remember you. I'm Laura. I don't remember you. Yep. That's what's going to happen. <laughs> I haven't been to town in 30 years. I don't know who anybody is. Where's Dr. Jones? Dr. Jones, where are you, Dr. Jones? Lucas? No. Tony. He died. <laughs> he did? Oh, man. I should have kept in touch. Yeah. That'll be Jeff. I don't, well. like, I don't like either one of them so far. <laughs> Jeff or um, Carolyn. You think they're bad parents who did bad things? They're terrible parents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If they and the the thing I I thought of with Carolyn right away was that she follows she follows what she's told, and if that's the kind of woman she winds up being, man, I hope she gets a backbone quick on the show because I she, won't like. Her. She needs the Carol uh, from from Walking Dead arc, you know. Exactly, the Carol from season one to yeah. season four or whatever. So okay, Boy. right. So. That's a great example, Matt. Absolutely. <laughs> That's what I have to see. If they keep her like, you know, being, nah, that she's just following him around like, no, I won't like her. Oh, man, Melissa's wonderful. Jeff will start demanding to see Alan Quartermain. I need to see Dr. Quartermain <laughs> now. <laughs> You'll know what's wrong with my dad. <laughs> Where's my brother? <laughs> <laughs> my gosh. Oh, my God. Well, they do want us to believe that they just jumped off the planet for 25 years. <laughs> they were just, you know, we were, we were, we were saving the world one person at a time. <laughs> you should have saved your daughter, you dick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, that's why we Pretty need much. to make a move to Hulu and so Elizabeth can I... say things like that, you know? And um, that's why... I don't like them so far. <laughs> right there following in uh, what she's told sounds very culty. Oh, there we go. Jeff Weber is the new new Shiloh. Uh, <laughs> Dex oh, yeah. could possibly be a Corinthos. Imagine if Sonny is his uncle or his grandfather. I don't know about Corinthos. Maybe Corbin. But at this point, I don't know. So I, I'm torn. One, sure, it would be fine for Dex to be related to somebody because it's totally soap. It's totally what's happened with Cody. You know, like it yeah. it, it happens yeah. all the time. And but that's also a general at the same hospital time, thing. It, it really is. It is a general hospital thing. But also at the same time, let's start the Heller family, okay? Let's just, let's start the Heller family. Let's just have a new family in here, please. Please, <laughs> let's have a new family. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, he reminds me of Jason's kid. See, there were, did Jason have a kid that he didn't know about, you know? But oh, then he'd Jason have to and have Drew that are kid identical. Young. Drew's child. I mean, I don't know. He went off to college and we didn't see him, right? Didn't he? Didn't we not see him in college? He went to college in, rain beer, rain, in a reindeer sweater, came back and bumped his head. Yeah. Because he was in, he was going to start med school. He was in pre med and all that stuff, yes. right? Yes. So, yes, yeah. he was. So he was collegiate. Yeah. And college people don't always make the right choices. Um, I see all of these TikToks now. So they, they could be lies or they could be true. I don't know. But I do see some mm -hmm. TikToks and some Facebook reels that come up. And it's like, to the dude that I met in summer camp when I was 17, you forgot something. And it's like, like them with their baby. Uh-huh. You know, like it happens. People yeah. get pregnant and the dad just doesn't have a way to find out. You know? Yeah. It, well, I mean, I guess it's a little easier now. Um, but before, you know. It could be. Harder. It could be. You know, um, it reminds me Boy. of this movie with Tim Allen, uh, Jungle to Jungle. Uh, it was like 1997. You know, it was a, a long time ago. Um, yeah. And Tim Allen is the f is uh, plays the father of this kid that grew up in like this island tribe because the mm -hmm. mom was like an uh, anthropologist or something that studies them and all, you know, something, blah, blah, blah. And the kid comes to the city and, and all of that mm -hmm. stuff, right? And so the mom and the dad, Tim Allen and the mom character are having an argument, right? And Tim mm -hmm. Allen's character is like, what? how do you even know the kid is mine? And she's like, come on, I know. It's a kid's movie, so they didn't say because I only boned you, mm -hmm. buddy. Uh, she's <laughs> like, hey, I know. Um, <laughs> and then he goes, well, how do you even know that the kid is yours? And she goes, well, unlike you, I was there when I had it. Um, <laughs> and it's just something that stuck with me. 
Uh, well, do you know that Tim Allen got new Santa Claus shows? He does coming have a new out. Santa Claus show come out, and he's already he's in trouble for a joke. So you know, we're going to. It's on happens. Disney Plus. It is. I haven't mm. watched it, but I did notice. Sure you... I, I saw a trailer for it, but I did notice that the original Bernard's on it. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I guess it, at a certain point, I don't know. He doesn't seem to be a main cast member. Now that's a draw for me to see old, old, old David Krumholz, uh <laughs> as a as a fifty year old. <laughs> we're trying to play Bernard. Now, here's a, here's the fun thing. Here's the fun thing about life, uh, life and entertainment, and especially being in a nostalgia-driven uh, entertainment world at the moment. Right there, they had a Blues Clues movie with all three Blues Clues hosts. Right, like even kids' mm -hmm. stuff is just yeah. riddled with nostalgia now. Mm -hmm. And it's so easy for me right now because I still feel spry. I still feel young, even though I'm old. Um, I know I'm not old. Um, <laughs> so it's very, very easy for me that tw to, to forget that 20 years has passed. Yeah. It, I still, you know, it's it's so easy. You know, I don't mm -hmm. really feel all that different than what I did when I was 18 in high school and all that kind of stuff. You know, up here, I don't really feel all that different. Yeah. So it's 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 hard to realize sometimes until somebody comes across the screen, <laughs> like Bernard from Santa Claus, and you're like, oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah, I'm old. Oh yeah, okay, I'm not old. But, oh yeah, twenty <laughs> years has passed. And when I say I'm old, I mean twenty years has passed. There has been enough time in my life has passed for me to remember twenty years ago and beyond. You know, like yeah, twenty years ago wasn't already, as far and, as I can and, go. And and being a, twenty years ago, basically being an adult Thanks already. Thanks, Right. Yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Thanks for coming, Jacarius. Um, and so that's that's exactly that's exactly what it is. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. So <laughs> we have a subject matter we still need to talk about. I don't think so. You know, we covered a lot of it. It's twelve forty-five. Um, uh, excuse me. Yeah, uh, okay. yeah. So we got a new person, Shri R. Hello, Shri R. Hi. 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 She doesn't usually catch the show, but she's popping in to say hi. So hello and come on back at 11 a.m. Pacific and catch the whole thing next time. Oh, Kelly is sad that Dancing with the Stars is on Disney+. Plus. And so, Matt, <laughs> yeah. shall we tell everybody about when our general hospital, not general hospital, oh. but our Christmas did, What podcast? day did we decide for that? I forgot already. Well, I'm, I, I, we did decide. You and I did decide. I forgot what I'm it is. Right now. <laughs> she it is it December 10th. Oh. Saturday, December 10th. Perfect. Probably that's, at 2 or 3 o'clock. Because that's before everything. Because that is that that is a week before Nancy Lee Grand's very special ALS uh, thing that, that Becky Herbst is going to be a part of. So that's a big get. Oh, awesome. Because she doesn't usually do this kind of stuff. So they're having some sort of ALS fundraiser. And uh, Becky Herbst is going to be a part of it. Nancy Lee Grand, Jeannie Francis, and two more people. I don't remember who they are off the top of my head. But it's five actresses from the show. And, I get, and it's moderated by Nancy Lee. So I don't know what the hell they're going to talk about. They're probably going to talk about Donald Trump. Uh, but... <laughs> Um, yeah, he'll come up. I'm sure of that. <laughs> yeah, you know, she's moderating it. She's hosting it. It's her event. It's on her website. She's doing it for ALS, which is it's great. It's awesome. You know, it's mm -hmm. it's important to her. So that's cool. I'm glad they're doing it. She went out of her way to make sure that she got people from the show that people would want to come and pay and listen to talk yeah. and people you don't usually get. So that's awesome. That's great. That's wonderful. That's happening on the 17th. Um, on the 18th, Maurice Bernard is having like Maurice Bernard's Christmas and Friends, okay. or something. That's happening as uh, that as well. So if you guys are into that and you want to spend some money uh, watching the actors talk about the show or whatever it is they're going to talk about, honestly, I don't know. I'm not involved. Um, do that. And the week before, we're going to talk about Christmas. We are. So I guess uh, Pacific Time Zone. Uh, and I'll put up art and, and I'll advertise it well so you guys will get the whole thing. Uh, yeah. Christmas Time Podcast, December 10th, 2 or 3. Watch for updates. Thank you very much. So Cheryl's doing a great job moderating. Look at that. Thank you awesome thank, thank you. you uh so yeah we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do that um that's gonna give us a chance to actually open the the, the people magazine that i got from the, all my children yesteryear mm -hmm. since vincent ears area won't be here to take up all the time which is great i love them thank you for doing that come again so happy he was able to do that with us <laughs> come again but we weren't able to flip through the pages of the thing like we wanted to it's all good though yeah it's all good, Laura. And, and, Laura and we Jeannie, just want to like a, and spread a little Christmas cheer as yeah. well. And so we're going to try to talk about holiday time and so bland, uh, specifically all my children, uh, but definitely some general hospital as well because it'll be holiday time. So there's no way we're going to be able to avoid it. Can't not talk about the Metro Court and that loop. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but of course, Christmas time, holiday time for soap operas has always been a time that the 
family here on the 10th floor looks forward to every year. Uh, when, it really, when it comes down to it, the holiday season is what we kind of look forward to every year. There's something magical and special about the decoration, the music, the temperature, the the just just yep. it all. Just just there's just yep. something special about it that we love. Yep. So we're and we want to share that with you guys for a little bit. Yeah, we're yes. gonna we're gonna talk about Christmas. We're gonna have a great time. Um, you know, eventually we'll when we have enough followers, guys, when we have a thousand subscribers, we'll do a Patreon or something. You know, where you guys can chip us two bucks and we'll do a, a bunch of special things. Uh, but until then, I got to work. So. <laughs> yeah. Evidently, I don't. Uh, you're fine. You're fine. Oh, I you, am you did fine. get Chandra's uh, approval, a stamp of approval. She said, so long as you're avoiding a worse situation, you made the right choice. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> uh, I expect a GH theme holiday carol that you will both sing. Well. Uh, Let me think about that. I got some ideas. I'm not gonna. Sh I'm not gonna tell you guys where they are right now. But I do have some ideas. Mm. I have some ideas for Matt too that he I haven't shared with him yet. So maybe when we get off, we'll talk about it a little oh, bit, Matt. Oh, Christmas tree! Oh, Christmas tree! <laughs> <laughs> How lovely are your branches? I don't know. We can do a, a starlight carols, you know. Actually, you guys. <laughs> Matthew did like a parody Christmas CD album. Oh yeah, I mean it wasn't a parody, but yeah, well, yeah, yeah, it was yeah, sort of. Well, not a parody. In my but... wrestling days, in my wrestling days, I did a yes. holiday album. You're right, you're right, you're right. Me, me, and Perry right. Von Vicious, Perry Von yes. Vicious, and Matthew Theo, Matthew the greatest did. mind in professional wrestling, <laughs> put out a holiday album. It's still on YouTube. I'm not going to tell you how to find it. You can find it on your own. Um, but it, yeah, it's, it's me. It's my old wrestling character, just this nerdy dude with a sweater vest mm -hmm. and uh, his good old buddy Perry Von Vicious. Uh, <laughs> we were a goofy, fun little comedy act. It was a good time. It was a good time. Yep. It was a good time. 12 days and 14 so, There you go. <laughs> <laughs> share the show with your friends. Like, subscribe, tickle that bell. See, if Cheryl, Cheryl knows what she's doing. Cheryl might moderate other places. I'm glad you're doing it. Uh, we can all film our own verse and send them to Matt to compile. You think I have editing skills? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we need to talk about Nina, Sunny, and Brick. Okay, real quick. Uh, Nina's Nina needs to get her nose out of other people's business. Nina needs to oh stop jumping to conclusion. Yes. However, also at the same time, if you do see one of Sunny's associates going and having a secret meeting with Sunny's ex-wife, you should probably speak up about that because it could be anything, and it could be really dangerous and disastrous to what Sunny has operating. So she is right wrong. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she is right for saying it, wrong for saying I think they're 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 doing it. Right. You know? So. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Nina is putting her, you know, and she, she welcomes misery. She really does. It was so stupid of her to go see Willow the last time. <laughs> yeah. 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 I mean, she got up from the dinner to go be like, hey, I'm so, oh, I'm coming back. Oh, that B word. <laughs> like. <laughs> Dumb. Come on Oh, now. goodness. Nosey need a bug a bug. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Bug a bug. I don't think I've ever heard that phrasing before. I'm with it, though. I'm with it. She's a bug a bug. Well, she is. She is. She's she just is. bugging. She's bugging yeah. people. She's bugging me. All yeah. right. She and Sunny are yeah. cool together, though. I still like him. I still like him. Well, I think her and Sunny got, you know, they'll be together for a little while, but at the same time, um, he's, he's, she's going to disappoint him in some way. Yeah, probably. He or will. he's going to disappoint her in some way. I don't yeah. know. Uh, like, they're together, but I, I'm not sure if they have that magic chemistry that's going to last until they're, you know, into the I don't think 90s. anybody going to fly no banner over across that park. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> and then I can't wait until they find out the truth about the paternity. Uh, maternity, you mean, maybe? Maternity? Or are you talking about Max? So we got maternity going on and paternity happening at the same time. We got the maternity of who's Willow's mommy daddy. Mm -hmm. and the paternity of Cody and Mac. Uh, when it comes to the maternity of who is my mama daddy, uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> it seems as though Drew is on the case, but I think Drew is on the case because Drew suspects that Carly lied. Yeah. I think Drew is trying to, because Drew was very adamant, like, oh, I can find out. No, it'll be fine. I'll just dig into it. Well, I don't know. It might be a little, oh, it's going to be okay. I'll just ask a couple of questions. Everybody's going to be fine because I've got an infectious smile. Um, <laughs> All that you know uh like he was really pushing for it because i think he's trying to get ahead of it so he can go to carly and be like hey carly right you got some more information for me you might have been holding back because i was starting to think about some stuff i had some flashbacks <laughs> okay i had some flashbacks and it made me question what are you doing 
Oh, paternity for Trina. See, we got that going on too. Paternity for Trina. Okay. That's true. Okay. Absolutely. And we also have Marshall not actually being schizophrenic as well. Yeah. I just love Marshall. I do. So, so yeah, I mean, it's, 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 it's just so interesting. All right. So Portia gets the results. Oh, not a single marker has made it down. To, do you think she's lying? I don't think so. I think that she's very relieved that not a single marker has made it down to Curtis. Okay. Okay. I don't, I don't No, 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 she could be, but I don't think so. Okay. I didn't really think so either. Hey, okay. Del, Del J. We got a new one here. Um, <clears throat> uh, so oh boy, I'm just, I'm just. Here I am just knocking my microphone all over the place. Oh, and it didn't go out. It didn't. It, it wanted to, but it didn't. Um, <laughs> so on and so forth and blah, blah, blah. Uh, you know, she might have lied. She could have lied. There's an opportunity for her to lie. We'll see what have ha well, what really happened. I, I, right now, I don't want her to have lied, I guess is what I'll say. Uh, I want her to have been telling the truth, and I want this to be an indication that's, that, that, that Marcus has never had schizophrenia. Um, and yeah why what happened there what's going on with that Mis misdiagnosed and for why you know yeah. why yeah 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 is why? there a nefarious reason it was it a just simple a mistake uh i want there to be some drama there was some there was some there was some uh twitter responses out there saying well i mean you know misdiagnosis is a real thing you know it's an opportunity to the show to talk about it but also that's not very interesting to be like oh yeah we were wrong sorry um yeah, maybe there you know, was maybe that was something that he was uh, fed to make him leave town. Yeah, like they needed him to leave town for some reason and keep yeah. him away for some reason. Like, uh, yeah, who knows? what what else is there other than oops, sorry, our bad, you were wrong. <laughs> you know, so yeah, you know, we'll see. Is my mic glowing? I just noticed. Yeah, there's a little blue light in it when it's when it's plugged in. Um, Sonny's meds needs adjusted so he can see clearly through Nina's BS. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, goodness. oh right. <clears throat> I don't understand. How does Curtis I have none agree. of the markers? Shriar, I really believe it's because Marcus actually is not schizophrenic. So there were no markers to pass down. Because even, <laughs> even Portia was like, you should have had one. This is weird. Well, good. Yeah, she did say that. But oh. since she's not a specialist, she didn't think anything more of it. You right. Know? Oh. So that's what I think. That's what I think. Marshall has been gaslit. Yeah, by for <clears throat> what reason? Why? Why? Mm -hmm. What happened? Because he was, he's yeah. afraid of the mob, so something has happened then. It's, it can't just be because I'm from that life. I played jazz halls. Like, it, there has to be more there, you know? I oh, am. Yeah. So. There's got to be more to his story. Yeah. Yeah. Any thoughts on the trainer Spencer jail visit? Del wants to know. Hey, specific question. Um, They're cute. They're fine. You know, it was a good step in their relationship because they sort of admitted to each other, or at least Trina finally said, come on, don't be stupid, Spencer. You know I liked you. Yeah, you know, but they wind up arguing a bit there, though. Well, it's because he's still it mad about the Rory thing, you know. Like, yeah. why didn't you have my call? I was busy not screwing or Rory, you know. Oh, Rory, oh, I'm gonna flip this table and leave. You go spend snow, Rory, because he's a little boy. Because he's a little boy. Yes. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, yeah, I mean, people, people want, uh, Marshall to have connections to the mob, but they want him to know about Leopold Taub. I mean, so yeah. I don't know. It's scary. I like all that. I'm scared, Ma. It's scary. It's scary. It's scary. Okay. Cause the more people like Victor hooks into and the more people get drawn into this one central storyline about Victor and Port Charles and stuff, the more I get afraid that everyone is going to die on the show or something, you know? <laughs> Like one, hey, like what they was the really last are time? Freeze the world. The last Good, time crazy. I saw a soap opera put all of the characters together for one massive story, it was the end of all my children. So <laughs> I just don't want. I'm, I'm, you know, it scares me sometimes. It just, I just get a little nervous. Yeah, me too. I just get a little nervous, and me and too. it's all because of ABC. All because of ABC. Because ABC doesn't even bother to say yes or no when it comes to whether or not the show is going to be still on TV. And they haven't bothered to say it for a number of years. And that's the only reason why I get nervous, honestly. <laughs> you know? It's just because I'm afraid that maybe, you know, ABC might have forgotten about it a little bit. But since we sent a plane... <laughs> Well, that's got to have some kind of, that's got to have some kind of positive effect. Really? I would hope so. I would hope so. We'll see. Though. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. Well, like the I Dynasty so. mass Massacre in Moldova. I don't know what that reference is, but yes, exactly like that. Like the Red Wedding and Game of Thrones. All kinds of just craziness. <sighs> <sighs> 
don't know. I guess Kelly Tebow is doing both shows right now. Oh, wow. We need a big hostage situation. I don't know. We we just need Cyrus Rico. That's all I know. Oh, I just need more Cy, Maddie, and Laura. I love it. And Laura needs a uh, needs a nickname that ends in Y. You know, we got Marty, we got Cy, <laughs> and we got Lay, Lore, <laughs> Lori. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Yeah, it's a good time. Anyway. Well, shall we get on the elevator? Yeah, I guess we can get on the elevator. Uh, you know, at the beginning of the episode, we never technically got off because we, we were on an airplane instead. <laughs> <laughs> That's well. true. It's been successful. Fly over complete. <laughs> Coming back to base. Ten four. <laughs> you have clearance. Ah, uh, Laurely. <laughs> Lulu will wake up and it'll all have been a dream. There we go. There we go. There you go. I I am all for um. It, this didn't happen. Clearly, this didn't happen. But I am all for a show filming the final scene in the first season. Uh, how how about your mother sort of did the same thing um because characters age kids age all that kind of stuff and uh -huh. if you do a big it was all a dream thing yeah it's more convincing if they all look like they did in the first season mm -hmm. and so i'm all for that i'm all for if all my children had filmed something <laughs> in 1968 in black and white <laughs> with uh with a pretty girl that doctor i don't remember who he is Hardy, Dr. Well, Hardy. it's just like you know. Remember, remember the last the the, the last um, season of uh, Roseanne, and when it came back on TV, yeah. the whole last um, season was a dream. It, yeah, it was. Well, it was a it was a it was a it was a effect. It was a, a fantasy written in her autobiography uh, that they yeah. just said, no, never mind. That that didn't happen. That last season didn't happen at all. At all. Mm -hmm. Actually, she didn't win last, the lottery. Nothing. Those last two seasons kind of didn't happen. Those baby. Yeah. Uh, well, I guess the last season didn't happen. Mm -hmm. I don't know because Jackie didn't have a kid anyway. That's 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 a that's a different podcast. Um, <laughs> we could do a Matt and Cat remembers. You know, we could talk about shows from yesteryear, Roseanne, and all that kind of stuff. People would watch it. We could talk. We could talk about it if we could talk about a week of GH for an hour and a half. We could talk about a show that we watched <laughs> for an hour easily. We'll yeah, we could. We're gonna come up with some kind. Of, if General Hospital goes away, we're gonna come up with some kind of content. And even then, we'll probably come try, up with some more content we're anyway. Try People to come like up with some more content anyway. Yeah, we're gonna, you know, yeah. that's what that's what December tenth is all about. Yeah, exactly. And you know, eventually, eventually, we can talk about uh, you know, Desperate Housewives. Or this is us or something. Anyway, we'll figure it out. Uh, we'll figure it out. Uh, have an awesome week, everybody. Kelly says, yeah. so you guys have an awesome week as well. Uh, we're going to get the heck out of here. We're going to go back on to the elevator. We're going back down to the first floor. All right. We're going to go into the parking lot. Newhart, best finale. Oh, yeah. The Bob yeah. At Newhart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. I remember. He gets hit in the head with a golf, uh, golf ball. And he wakes, wakes up in the Bob Newhart show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, get back onto the elevator. Go back down to the first floor. Get into your cars. Turn your radios to previous episodes of the 10th Floor Podcast, which you can find on all of your podcaster uh, apps out there. And since you're driving a modern car, I'm sure you can plug it into your phone and plug it into Spotify or whatever your podcasting app is and go ahead and listen to us. Um, yeah. You know, be safe. Have a great uh, November. I mean, Thanksgiving, I guess, is coming up before the next time we see you. So have a That's great right. one Happy on Thanksgiving, that. That's right. Happy Thanksgiving, you guys. Eat food, have family, or go to work, yeah. or do whatever it is you do with Thanksgiving. But regardless of it, have a wonderful day. You know, whatever it is you do. I'll, I'll be I'll be hosting Thanksgiving. You know, Matt can tell you that um, my house is the house for all the stuff. Right, Matt? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, come on now. So you know, we'll be cooking here turkey. as well. I got and... a twenty-one pound turkey that um that that was a gift from the company that my husband works for. So well, there you go. And then uh, JLJ is having a day after Thanksgiving Zoom twenty buck thing. You know, have a great time with that if you want to go hang out with him. Uh, if you come late, catch the replay or download the podcast. Says Chandra, like look, giving making these people feel special by being moderators, ma. That was the move. Well, that, but they are special. <laughs> they are special. All right, folks. Uh, cars, previous episodes on the 10th floor. Um, go spend some time with your families. I've been Matt. And I've been Kat. And we'll catch you next time right here on the 10th floor. 